Uh, you're gonna be fine. Beat you to it. Just drink more. I'll die first. Nerd. Can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop. Race dying. The... Now I don't even want to switch it over. I just want to keep talking over the fan art. We can do that. Yeah, that'll or, be fun. Can this be what Casual Friday is from now on? We just talk? Yeah. That's and, true. I mean, have no visuals. Do we it's not just do a that? Podcast. Oh, I'm, a podcast. I mean, as a middle ground between that and just napping on stream, then sure. Yeah, but like I that's... mean, we all know what the end goal needs to be. Mm -hmm. I love seeing because, all the fan art of the Pokemon stuff. Because if we don't have the camera on, I can take off my shirt like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, ma'am! And now... Oh, oh, I switched it over too soon! You, you ruined the magic! I'm sorry! That was folly! That was... Foolish... Fo foolish, foolish folly. Folly... Fo folly... Theater of the mind, people. Absolutely terrible. Hello, everyone! Welcome to Casual Friday! <laughs> That's way too high energy. I'm saying, yeah, that is yeah. a little too. What's what's some more cat? What's Cas a casual, casual sound? Casual Friday. I think Scott might be the highest energy person here right now. Yes, oh, no. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, I want you, you to know. Both, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what's? We're gonna have a. I think I'm around. Wow, not much happened this turn. That's my, that's, <laughs> that's, there we go. That's, that's my energy at. level. <laughs> I got, got five hours of sleep last night. I'm ready to go, <laughs> dude. Me too. How are you so energetic? Uh, probably Coffee. all the caffeine and the nerds <laughs> rope and my, uh, coke problem. Ah. Yeah. It's only a problem if you don't share. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> now that everybody knows, it's not a problem. Let's do some coke. Hope everybody's having, uh, hope everyone had a good week. Yeah. It's been, uh, it's been pretty all Closing right here. Your week no, out. I don't think we've had a whole lot happen For a lot of people, office. this is going to be an extended weekend, uh, because there's a holiday on Monday. That's uh, right, Memorial well, guess, Day in the USA. Holiday, Day of Remembrance. Yeah. It's different. <sighs> but, yeah. Oh. as far as I know, we'll still be here Monday. <laughs> no, Actually, we, we, uh, we might be uh, doing, oh yeah, we were talking about that while you were gone. We might be, um, we're, we're probably not going to be here on Monday. Oh. Not going to yeah. be here on Monday. We were talking about going to, to uh, Renaissance Fair. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. It'll be fun. Yeah, we're going to yeah. remember the what? Renaissance. Yeah. yeah. That's something All I those can remember. troops that died in the Crusades. Yeah. Yep. And we're gonna go walk around with uh, some giant turkey legs. Maybe I can buy another clay ocarina. They I have so many ocarinas there. I, really? I went last week and they've got so many ocarinas. Oh, I bet. That's where I got the one I have. Do you um, um have what? you ever have, who who hears so you've been to one before, I assume? I well, I went to the only one I've ever been to. Okay, there was one in Lake Charles that sucked, but uh -huh. I went to the Scarborough one last weekend, and let me tell you. I don't know what other Renaissance fairs are like, but this one is the best. Hmm. Is it I, is I it common? Ohio, is it point. common to dress up? Is that a thing that everybody does? I did. Oh yeah. Okay. Dude, they have a costume shop at the entrance. Oh really? Where you can rent shit, oh, yeah. so you don't even Ooh. have to buy it. You just go in there and That's like dress right. up like a jester or a knight. I could walk in like my typical wear, and I'll look like a beggar. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I went to a Renaissance fair was like right before, or right after the second or third Pirates of the Caribbean movie came out. Mm. Oh God! <laughs> so yeah, all the pirates, lots of Jack Sparrow, lots of pirate shit all around, and all of the like hardcore Rencor Renfest people were so pissed. There's yeah, Rencor. That's oh, the that's, that's my favorite. No, genre. I like Rencor. I, I just really liked the Renfest I went to had like a foam sword fighting arena thing oh, that you could go to uh, yes! and my weeb friend was like oh man i'm gonna go and fight and like and the guy who was running it you could tell he had been there for hours he was <laughs> real good at messing with this foam sword but was like really low energy and just sarcastic to anyone who came he was like yeah sure sir knight i'm sure you've got something going on oh <laughs> Bop, got you, buddy. You're out. Like my friend goes in there, gets the sword, holds it backhand. He's oh like, god! He's like, ah, the often used and rarely successful backhand sword. <laughs> You're a true warrior. Just kicks his ass. It was great. Actually, um, they have one of those. They also have one where you like fight on a log with the. Uh, oh, oh yeah, the yeah. Hundred, I forget what they're called. Like kind of, not bows, but the the, the, the good old, sticks good old, in the end. Good old gladiator yeah. Yeah. style. Well, things in the end. Um and. Uh, there was a old Jack Sparrow walking around, and he was pitch perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was actually pretty cool. All right, neat. So, hey, what are we doing? What are we playing? Ren Fair. We're oh, playing yeah, the Ren okay, Fair. we're gonna play Ren Fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I was I was um, shown that the uh, a video game, a video game, video game, Hold a on. video game came out today. A video game. We do. We have. We sometimes have these here. Okay, I think I have a button for that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Look hey! At that. Oh, so, <laughs> wow. 
Today we're going to be doing, we got uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers. Figured we can putz around with this for a Do bit. Do you really think this is the last time they'll re-release Street Fighter 2? Because I don't. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> it is HD, no. right? I mean, yeah. I doubt they'll add any more challengers and still call it Street Fighter 2. So it is still the final mm. challengers. I could see them being like, Hey, you know what would be great in 16-bit? Uh, Rufus. <laughs> Put him in there. I want Skullomania. <laughs> yes. Bring back Skullomania. <laughs> and we also got um, the global test punch for arms. Uh, comes, it starts it, in an hour, Yeah, right? it starts in about an hour, so we'll kill some time till then, and then we get to see in real time connection problems. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be fun. It'll be great. Hopefully it works. I have no faith in this game. I expect it to be awful, <laughs> so I'm ready for yeah, it. Yeah, that's kind of been, you and I have been <laughs> Like, I don't see why the internet's so excited. How they're all up in arms about arms. I've been cautiously optimistic. Real bad. That's Good one. You think what? I've just been cautiously optimistic. Oh. Although I will say, uh, you know, by and large, I am keeping it at arm's length. That's no, this. <laughs> <laughs> Please, for the right, for the right sound. <laughs> Nox Garm, I don't think it looks fun as heck. It looks like me boxing. No, yeah, it looks like me yeah, boxing. Yeah, you boxing but... sucks. <laughs> it was not very good. Where's the volume? Why is it so low? Wait, was Holy that Violent Ken? Holy shit, Instinct Knight with 5,000 bits. Holy Thank poo -poo. you. Yeah, no, miss no message, just 5,000 bits to get us hype and excited instead of low energy like we've been. Yo! Oh shit! Oh! Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challenger. Uh, all right, um, that was my energy. All right, there we go. That That's was everything we had. Yeah, we're... All right, yeah. All right. Cancel the stream, I'm done. So the cool features that this has, uh, Grant and I were messing with this earlier just to get an idea. This has a uh, buddy I didn't, battle. I didn't realize it was called buddy, buddy battle. battle. Uh, we got buddy battle, which is 2v1. It's like a little mini arcade course where you play as two players versus the computer. And that just seems real unfair. I yeah. We I mean, didn't we have any show problems. It off, but... Um, we also got typical versus, typical arcade, also has online features. Uh, Way we also of the have Hado. absolutely gonna do this. Yeah. Not right now, but I do want to show off the, the motion controls they have. I bought those, um, do you remember those, uh, you might not remember, the Let's TV Play Kamehameha thing? Oh yeah, I yeah. do. I had that imported when I was in like, I think 10th grade, so I was back in like 2006. And it was like $70 just to get a little plug and play thing for your TV and these little sensors so you could throw your little Kamehameha. And I thought oh, it was yeah. super cool. But who knows? We'll see how we'll see how well that works. But I want to show off Buddy Battle. Yeah, let's Buddy Battle. Because we're buddies and we're battling. Let's, I, I was going to say, let's we, just tough. Cause, destroyed. Because we destroyed on normal. Oh, man. There's a, a lot of... World War. There's... <laughs> let's go with tough first, huh? Sure, let's do tough. Are you ba dudes bad enough? Yes, to take I, on I think we are, especially uh, if I have an actual D-pad now. That might, uh, that might help. All right, let's do it, because we got Evil Ryu and let's, Violent Ken in this version. Yeah, thanks thanks to generous fans and all of our bitching on Puyo Tetris, we now have Pro Controllers. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Thank you so much. Yeah. Also, we made our own custom colors. Yes, because uh, you can do that. <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> this seems really unfair for poor Ryu. Or not... For you, Ken. Ken. There, I'm just gonna keep hitting low. Go well, nuts. maybe if Ken weren't so violent, it wouldn't have turned out like this. It's violent Ken versus Violet Blanca. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. You know what? Yeah, there we go. Start the start the strats. <laughs> but we share a health bar. So yeah. If we're both making a bunch of mistakes, it will cost us. But you know that. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Got him. Like, I don't know how this is supposed to be tough. Like we almost lost one time just because we, oh, we were might lose this around. time because we got dicked up that one round and our health doesn't come back on my kids. Well, it comes back a little bit apparently. Shit! So hoping you knock him into me. As soon as I did my crouching medium, he got that he had that wake up DP. You know why you're losing? Why? Because this is not honorable. <laughs> this is totally honorable, dude. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, no, my buddy! Your buddy's dead. My battling buddy! Oh! Uh, Do you see, like, the the sprite seems to have a little artifact in Wow. We actually oh, died what, oh, well, oh, you know what? Wow. So All right, one. human eye now. All right, we're not buddies. Come on. <laughs> All right, buddies, see what you got. 
Here you go, buddy. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. Buddy it up. Buddy battle. My buddy was weighing me down. No. Uh, no. Yeah, A is select things, not... Oh, so it's yeah, Japanese. Okay. Yes. okay. Hit the circle button on a PlayStation controller. Yep. Tough. Let's do it. Yep. All right. We got to be tough enough. We got to be tougher than these guys. Yeah, we destroyed on normal earlier today, so I was like, oh, we can up it to tough. Apparently, that's just a little beyond us. Guile. Hey, day. <laughs> got to go classic, Ken. But can you stop violent, Ken? Straight out of Mugen. <laughs> I'm peaceful, Kyle, Ken. I need your help. <laughs> peaceful, Ken, go. <laughs> and Guile as well. <laughs> yeah, now that we got this on the big screen instead of the oh gosh, the little switch screen, I didn't notice how much like detail was in those backgrounds. Right? Ooh. Oh, I forgot. I can. Su I can super. Apparently, yes. you can super. You got supers. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad. Oh, oh no! This is so bad. This is this tough too hard for us. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Look, we got we got one round. We did at least as well as these guys. <laughs> we only count by rounds. You're giving a lot of chances to dragon punch you with all those jumps. Yeah, I know. I have a problem with that. Not, not that I can really talk, because I do the same. Oh, come on, you guys. You got this. Oh! No! He was too violent. Okay, now we're now we're going now. by life meter. <laughs> now we counts. won against them. All right, okay, you How won. How dare you. <laughs> the only battle that matters. It's almost like we should have a whole day of just shit-talking and doing versus games, but <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Probably never happen. No. So what like should we do next? Much. That's a stupid that idea. Too much time. Uh, all right, so that's that's basically a buddy battle. You can do... um. You do, uh... I feel like these guys should make their own special colors. colors. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. Go all to right, color, color editor. Yeah. All right. Pick your character and yeah, yeah. Pick play whoever, dress up. Pick whoever your main is and give them some color. Put some color on them, as they say. Uh, I think any set. Yeah, any really. set. It doesn't matter. All right. We'll go set two. Set two. Section, Section uno. So quiet. Color is flesh. There we go. Nice. I like yep. it. We got some got some hulky goodness there. Hulk action. Yep. What are we coloring here? Uh, let's see. Well, Hulk wears purple pants, obviously. Yeah, he do. Man, it moves so slow. Yeah, you can use the touch screen. That's what I was using. Oh, ah. it's his tank top and his oh, camo. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. And then um, L and R is like your saturation. Yeah, Hulk, Hulk doesn't wear a tank top, so I guess we'll try and like blend that in. Ah, uh, skin <laughs> match it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not great. Uh, yeah, it, you gotta it, go. You gotta go bonkers. Yeah, it, it dims it when it's not the thing being colored. Yeah, uh, but it uh, that makes it harder to color match. Yeah, it's, okay, close enough. Close enough. We're now. It's we need hair. to get at those. Oh no! I can't change his pants. <laughs> oh boo! The camo man. His pants are always green. What? What color is Hulk's hair? Is it just like a darker? It's like green? a darker green. Yeah. <laughs> Here, so yeah, go to green and then hit L. And it'll make it darker. Good enough. All right. <laughs> save. save. Yep, save. There we go. All right. And up. Here you wow. go. Uh, could you uh, bump up the game audio just a tad? This is a oh, this is a low game. Sure. Yeah, it's the, yeah, it's that one right there. This one. Okay. Yeah, keep slide it up just a tad. There you go. All right. Yeah. See. Uh -uh. See how that goes. So first is flesh. Oh, you're just leaving him. I'll get, I'll come back to that. Stained red with the blood. Violent Ken, no. <laughs> All right, come on. I think I know what I want, actually. Ken wearing red. What a new idea. Any, any, any bits uh, while we're doing that? Cryptic Saiyajin. Gives 500 to Kaiser's Magnificent Beard and wants to know what's your favorite Scooby-Doo series and favorite animated Scooby-Doo movie? Oh, wow. Oh, easily the one with Kiss. <laughs> I'm that, sorry, they have a trans trans uh, transformation sequence. Either that yeah. or the Zombie Island one. Because the Zombie Island one is actually, like, actually got some cool shit. 
I only watched the like old school Scooby-Doo cartoon. I never really watched any of the other series, and I never saw any of the movies. One I re- uh, weirdly liked, I liked the pup named Scooby-Doo. Um, uh-huh. And I like, wow. I, yeah, I, I actually like that show. Scooby-Doo. And uh, with, with the bully character who was never, who they always suspected, red but was herring. never yeah. behind it. Yeah, yeah red yeah. herring. <laughs> that is a good bit. Yeah, and but, um, yeah, and I love that Fred was always obsessed. With, like mole people were always behind everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, it's the mole men. They're coming. Because Fred knows the truth. <laughs> um, and I liked uh, Sco- it hasn't aged well, but I really like Scooby Doo Cyber Chase. Oh no! What are I'm, you doing? Save, save your edits. I'm sad he specified animated because Browsers does a real good Scooby Doo parody. <laughs> <laughs> and I like yeah. how the mystery is where is Scoob, so they can, <laughs> <laughs> so they can eschew any possible dog fucking. <laughs> All right, I am Dante right, Ken. We have, we have our official colors. Oh, Dante Ken, I see. Oh, nice, featuring Dante. Um, we have Gola from Beloa with a thousand says a bunch of bits for missing Streamdom Hearts due to one night screening of Reanimator. Yeah, that sounds Ooh, fun. Yeah, go hey. for that. On that, what cult classic movie would you have to go see if it was playing at your local theater? Rocky Horror Picture Show. I feel like they've done that. Yeah, <laughs> they I'm have. Sure, they have. I've. I have never seen Plan 9 from Outer Space, and that seems like the kind of movie that you go to a theater to see. It's it's not a cult movie, and it's dumb, but if fucking the Alamo did something with the first Shrek and had, like, yes! <laughs> interactive singing somebody. <laughs> that with would be I don't think you understand. They have done that. Okay, good. Then... All is right with the. By the way, I'm will, going first. Who wants, to go with, who wants to fight me? I'll take. I'll take you on. Fight me. Fuck um, you. Fight me. Neon Blanca. All right. Ri- rises from the dead. Uh, best of three. Yes. Infinite time limit. Oh, now I can stall in the corner. Great. Now what are you doing? Infinite time limit. Man, fuck your time limit. The time limit's part of the game. Time limit's gay. No, no you're gay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so you should love it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, you go. There we go. Hey, <laughs> look at the Dante S. Ken, it works. Yep. Pick our stage, nerd. Uh, let's go to the bathhouse. Sure. <laughs> this is where Blanca and Ken would fight. <laughs> Round one, fight! I keep... I don't know why my brain associates the R button to be punching and not kicking. I don't think it know. Ever has been, but you know, I was having the same thing, and yeah, L has always been punch. I don't know why. Ow! Everyone asking about uh, oh, Samurai Jack you thoughts. Punches. We'll we'll have a segment we'll, for that. Yeah, we'll address those uh, near the end. Yes, yeah. but we we're gonna want to get into spoilers, so we want to give people who don't want to hear spoilers the chance to bug out before we get into that. So later, later we will talk. Yeah. Trust me, we have a good venue to discuss Samurai Jack. Get away from me! I've been playing too much Injustice. I just tried to interact with that thing back there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> throw the lamp at him. It's like I got him. Oh yeah, man! The cross ups. The cross up. Cross Get the counter. Get that somersault to go just a little bit over your head. That's the trick. It's unfortunate my main tactic with Blanca was always slide under fireballs. You can't do that in this version. Oh, oh nice read! <laughs> well done. Can't even be mad. Do you see like the little white dots on his belt and shit? Yeah. It's like it doesn't fully yeah. color it. It looks terrible. That's kind of gross. Here, you want to try? Yes. Yes. Ken versus the I- Ivel Ryu. Parisu drops a thousand bits and asks, question for Kieran, how's that liquid cooler of yours doing? Working properly? (laughs) Oh, yes. Yeah, I fixed it. I had no idea that you would require, you know, dusting a liquid cooler. I was like, it's all liquid. Who fucking needs a fan? (laughs) (laughs) How do you dust? Water. (laughs) Yeah, my case is getting overdue for a pop open and some canned air. Yes, that's... Well, I did it all last night, and it's running like a dream. I had Nier Automata going for like six hours while watching Twitch, and it didn't get any hotter than like 40 degrees Celsius. That was really good. Nice. Look at yeah, this guy. God, yeah, his belt does look. Wow, what? Happened? Yeah, do you see it? It's gross. Oh, How do yeah. you throw into? 
Um, I just pressed X. Maybe it's just forward punch near someone. Yeah, but yeah, right. it might be that. His belt looked like looks like some asshole uh, cut it out in Photoshop with the magnetic lasso the tool fuck? and did a shit job with it. I was gonna say it looks like I did it. I <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy saying he doesn't know how to play Street Fighter 2. I, I still know how to play Street Fighter. <laughs> I am not the violent version you know, Ryu. Return to peace. Fireball him. Oh, no. Oh, oh man. I, I don't like this. <laughs> I actually don't like these controllers. I prefer the other ones. Come in really? Yeah. I don't like their D-pad. I'm gonna get the other try, one. Ben? Sure. <laughs> Character, select! I'm gonna get myself some more water. Select your oh. character. You know what? Uh, for the sake of not being boring, I'll try other characters. Who cares? Do whatever you want! No, Kieran, he's too good! Let him pick other people! Oh, sorry. Yeah, pick other people. Ah, Felon. <laughs> what color pants are you wearing today? Uh, I, he, okay, this is wrong. <laughs> he doesn't have yellow pants. <laughs> we shall go for in England. Yeah. Her dad's dead, dude. She's always angry. Yo, so's yours, but I don't hear you bitching. <laughs> is Raylon's dad dead? No, your dad's dead. Only on the inside. First of all... <laughs> <gasps> oh. That is, a, that is a fierce oh, nip. He has fierce nipples. <laughs> Must be so freaking cold there. It is England. It's probably a little nippy outside. After this, we should show that you're able to change the voices. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Because I was disappointed to see that when we changed voices, it didn't change the announcer. I know. I want perfect. Yeah, I want Super Nintendo announcer. Of just... Japan. <laughs> India. Who's got next? Throw me back in, coach. But first, we quit versus... Quit versus? Yes. Why are we quitting the versus? Because I want to show you something. Go to, Ooh. uh... Settings. Settings. It's down. <laughs> options. Uh, options. options. Uh, sounds. Style settings. Oh, it's a oh, it's style. Okay, I got it. Uh, right. Sounds. We can make it new style. New style? So everyone's got new voices. Cool. All mm. right. You can Is throw that... the graphics back, but I like, I like the HD ones. But maybe the old ones won't have the fucking terrible... Hmm. Artifacting left over. <laughs> versus. Player versus player. So far, it does not seem to have mattered whether or not we have a time limit because yeah. these fights get over pretty quick. You just come in and you kill us. I was going to say it, but... Let's see. I'm at least going to try to play with people that I know decently well. Ooh, maybe Cammy though. You know what? Let's do it. Oh, that's a cool color. Which I, one? Uh, that one. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, I like it too, actually. Cammy was always my exception in video games. Like, <laughs> if I had to, Cammy. It was Street Fighter 4 that made me realize it too, where I was like... Like, oh, damn. Yeah, and like, really, though. Spiral Arrow! Yeah, right? And you can do it in the air. It's like real good. Yeah, come get me. Testament's got the quiz for us. For 400 points, what does the acronym USSR stand for? Ah, uh, damn it. I used to know the, this. The United Sovereign States of Russia. Uh, got it in one. <laughs> is that really what it is? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The United Soviet. Oh, yeah, Soviet. Duh. It's called the Soviet Union. Of course, Soviets in there somewhere. <laughs> the United right. Soviet States of I think Russia. This, is it the United Soviet Sovereignty of Russia? The United Soviet Socialist Republic. Socialist yeah, Republic! That, that sounds right. Damn it. Uh, in the corner! 
I'm an idiot. I'm so dumb. I'm never talking again. That's me. Why can I not? Cut out Spike! <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> Spiraled out of Spiraled out of existence. Control. Darn it, we found a game that Scott can beat us at. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a terrible twist of events. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, Chun Li. I'll probably lose this one. How does she do things? Huh? How does she do things? I don't know. Chun Li. Oh, it's like it's like it's an adverb. Submit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's evil Ryu. Oh, <laughs> so, what was what was your guys' time to pronouncing Ryu correctly? Uh, I didn't until, gosh, pretty sure it was after high school. My dad's a weeb. I always said it right. So I I was always Ryu. He's that's his name. Yeah. It's fucking not. <laughs> I was like, he's Ryu. And then I watched that one anime movie where I'm sure they're saying it right most of the time. But then I think Ken at one point just calls him like, he might say it so fast that it sounded like Rue to me. And I was like, there's no way it's Rue. That's wrong. This movie's hey, Rue. dumb. Rue! <laughs> Rue! No, fucking, I think it was maybe the Alpha movie where they just said it like, Rue! Maybe that's what oh, I was They have definitely said Rue in some animated feature. Well, then maybe that's what I was thinking. But I saw some anime movie where they referred to him as Rue. I'm like, well, that can't be right. So I'm I'm right. It's Ryu. I can't remember come to think of it, I'm not sure I'm saying it right now. Is it is it Ryu or Ryu? Uh, actually, the first one's closer. Ryu. Yeah. Because the, the interesting Ryu. thing is, like, God... The reading for that is so weird because of how Japanese works, but Ryu would be the best. Ryu. Ryu and Ken. <laughs> Ken! Chun Li and Blanca. E Honda. Blunky. I did always say Blanca. Um, I always said Blumkin. I said Dalsim for a long time. The Dal Dalzim. It's Dalsum. Dalsum. I think I always said Sagat, but I might have said Sagat. I said Sagat for a Oh, while. man! Oh, I, I was looking at my wrong soup. I had Raging Demon. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you had the Shungoku Satsu, but... You could have done you it. You trying for what? The Shinkodoken? You want to go again, Ben? Sure. Just let Kaiser roll the table. <laughs> you know what? Damn it, Taco Champ. Dad, I left my Blunky in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Fates decide. I guess yep. I'll play as a gay character. R and Jesus. It's canon. Varying levels of tan. Yeah, huh? <laughs> God, that looks. It looks like he he's, hasn't seen he's this. Very sun. Russian. Very Russian today. Zangief. I am blue tornado. Let Zangief take you down. The red cyclone. Oh man, this is just like my fan fiction. <laughs> I was gonna say, really, Blanca? He's more animal than man. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh man, we are. I'm in a bad place. I do not know how to play this guy at all. Get him. Kill him with my character so I can yeah. pretend I did it. Yes. <laughs> do I do moves with this guy? This guy, Blanca looks so much bulkier now. Like I feel yeah. like like his upper body is just huge, and I don't think that's bad, but it's just not what I'm used to viewing him as. He was always buff, but I remember him being a little bit more slender. Yeah, zippy zaps. This is just like from the zippy second zaps. movie. Get my zippy zaps. That's why I liked playing him as a kid. I. I, that that was a move I could do. I couldn't figure out fireballs or dragon punches, <laughs> but, but I can mash but, buttons. But I knew how to make oh, no! it. 
Don't I, Tyson me! I knew Don't how to make electricity me, come out of the green, man, so I was down. Uh, oh, no! Oh, yeah! I was like, come here! <laughs> All right, Ben, well. you're the best! <laughs> All right, who's playing? Uh, I think I was next in the rotation. The Kaiser is falling. <laughs> here, you can be Chapman, dude. Yay! <laughs> Any bit messages? There were a few. Winds of fate, blow me to victory. Oh no. Do you have Streamlabs up on that thing? Uh, yes. Oh. Is that I think the last one we read was a thousand from, uh, Name's Escaping Me. Could he say? No. We have not read that. Uh, uh yeah, uh, we did. He was the one who wanted to know about your uh, liquid cooler. Oh, that's right. I hear this theme goes with everything. You know who did the, uh, you know who made the song, right? Yokoshima Mora. Yeah. The lady behind Kingdom Hearts music. Yeah. You know. Everything good in the world. You know. It's true. Oh, there's a real good team teamwork mm. mix of this song with, um, uh, with a rap song called Roll Out. Yeah. I made an A and B to that. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. That's fun. And it had, yeah. <laughs> it started out as like, uh, you know, I'll take the Street Fighter movie and, you know, it'll be, oh no, that's one movie. There's not enough footage. I'll throw some, I don't know, wound up with Lupin the Third, DuckTales, just like anything <laughs> I anything can think Anything that of. looked cool. Yep. Ow. Okay, does anyone remember the shower scene from the uh, Street Fighter movie? Yep. All everyone. Here, so yes. Everyone <laughs> here remembers it, I'm sure. It was so I weird because I think that I was the oh, first. that was in the AMV. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing it. Like I saw the unrated version of the movie the first time I saw it. Never saw. Didn't see the edited one. Got bought the movie. Was showing it to a friend, and I was like, "Dude, you have to see it." Just, just Show wait. Me he's nude. <laughs> but the, it was the edited one, so they uh -huh. cut that out, and he was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> As he should be. Yeah, that was the, that was everybody heard in the schoolyard. Oh man, Blockbuster's got a copy of Street Fighter. Yep. Going to see some anime boobies. Get rid of your claws, oh, nice. Barog. I don't need it. By the way, that movie is really cool, but it does not hold up in terms of pacing. It is a poorly paced movie. Although I will say I do love the American soundtrack a lot. <clears throat> oh. It is one of the few times where I'm like, no, the American soundtrack to this movie is They've just got to figure way out. better. <laughs> How? But then again, the, the soundtrack in the original was yeah. a complete second like afterthought, so... Grant with the pocket thock. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> However, I do have pocket E Honda. Do you actually? I somewhat know him. I'm not okay. going to say it's great. <laughs> Although it is really, really funny to see Street Fighter 2, the animated movie. So it was like, is there a. Is, is there, there a not? Yeah. One? <laughs> Let's see. We don't talk about that. No. <laughs> ah, Dictator. Oh, uh, you know what kind of sucked, though? Oh, that's a good color. That's a good one. That's a very, uh, that's a very oh aesthetic. Oh, my God. <laughs> my aesthetic is on point with this color. Uh, was it Street Fighter 2V? Yes, yes, it was. Yes. <laughs> High five. Yeah, that show sucked. Yeah. yeah. I have the... I don't know if it's the whole thing, but I do have a DVD box set of that. Oh, man. Thousand hands! There was a I know whole how to long a scene of Ryu and Ken <laughs> checking into a hotel. Yep. My favorite line from that movie, is, or cartoon, the first episode, uh, <laughs> Ryu is talking about uh, Ken, his best friend, because he's reading a letter from him or something. And so I was like, is that a letter from your 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 uh, pretty blonde girlfriend? He's like, no, this is my this is a letter from my best friend. He's got red hair and he's a man named Ken. Like just in response to that. And he doesn't wear a bikini. That's how it is. That, yeah, that's and right. He doesn't wear a bikini. Wasn't there an American cartoon? Oh yeah, yes, there, was there was an American yeah. cartoon. Hey, I'm Ken. Man. Hey Ryu. No, no, they said Ryu. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course they said, said it right. I, I remember that one for the one scene where Chun Li does her spinning bird kick and causes or tornado. <laughs> I really like the one where DJ is like three different sizes in a single scene. What? Thousand hands! <laughs> Guys, RIP Raul Julia. Oh, yeah. I know. Also, this is delicious. 
bushels. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Also tapping with boxing yes. gloves. Yeah, also bison. Man, I ah, that cartoon is so good. So Party wants shot. to go. Yes. Yes. yes! Party <laughs> wants to go back and rewatch an episode of that. Mm. Oh, also, yes. Honda is Sh conqueror of Shenron words. in the background. Although that's ah, actually ah, the ah, it's not Shenron, ah. it's just a dragon. Yeah, no, it's it's the serpent, the no, phoenix, every, the every probably green a tiger dragon. to the left. Every every green dragon, every, did you know that's every Shenron? green serpentine dragon is Shenron. Did you know in every fact. every eyeballs is Popo? Yep. Did you yeah, oh god <laughs> damn. <laughs> yep. <laughs> By the way, the no. Good one. That's a good one. By the way, no, we do not believe that they made a reference to us in Super. What? But have you heard? But I it heard. could have been anything. Oh my god, Deej. <laughs> oh no! Trivia! Do you know why he yes. has maximum on his pants? Why is it, Grant? Well, thank you for asking. It's because maximum, even if the sprite is flipped, Still spelled and looks the same. Are you telling me it's symmetrical down the center? It sure oh, is. Oh, hey, that's actually pretty cool. I'm sorry, Grant. That's a cool fact. I, I didn't mean to be so pedantic. Well, and... fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool fact. Uh, it's top 10 cool facts about Street Fighter. To, I don't remember how to teleport. I do magic. <laughs> uh, is it is it down up something? Oh, oh, you're getting scully. There it was. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. Down, down, maybe? Up, up. Yep. I swear it's like a, a direction place. That could be full of shit. I don't know, but I found my favorite, my new favorite move. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? S oh my god! Get no! Fucked. No! No! Get no! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember DJ because he was voiced by Bo Billingsley, being as jive as he could be. Yes. It was so good. Ain't nobody tell DJ what to do. I'm like, ah, uh, love you, Bo Billingsley. <laughs> Never leave. I keep forgetting DJ is in two. Yeah, for a short <laughs> scene. No, I mean the game. I keep forgetting he's oh, in yeah. two. It's like a member of the cast that I keep forgetting. I was like, oh yeah. And okay, okay. Because somebody in the audience probably doesn't <sighs> know this. M. Bison was originally, like in, in this game, M. Bison. His original name was Vega. Vega's original name was Balrog, Balrog. and Balrog's, Balrog's original, original name was M. Bison, a.k.a. Mike, Mike Tyson. Bison. <laughs> no, I mean Mike Bison. The yeah. M stands for Mike, yeah. obviously. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, uh, has, it's actually has, Mark Mark Bison. Has nothing to do with... Oops. Wrong button! Shit! Ah! It's rounds, time... Yeah, sure. Sorry, booked it up. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry in Canadian. Has anyone played Akuma yet? I did one round, but you can play him. I'll do Sagat. 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 Tiger. 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 So is a tiger at you. <laughs> tiger, tiger. <laughs> For a long time, I always thought he was saying hyper. Hyper, hyper, yeah, hyper, Yeah, I can hyper. see that. My God, I'm so big. Scott's huge. Yeah. Oh my God, how am I so much taller <laughs> I than love Bison? I low block at, <laughs> like, yeah. <low> just... <laughs> hyper, 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 hyper. The new Tekken game actually has an uppercut where you th they throw out an ethereal tiger. Oh, it's a tiger oh, uppercut. Yeah, his low getting hit is a very good picture. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, pocket bisons. I always thought it was weird that Ryu, like, Ryu gave him the, the chest scar, right? With yes. A, with a yeah. uh, dragon punch. And in his ending, he was dragon punching the waterfall, and yet when they started differentiating him and Ken in the later games, he got the the Hadouken, and Ken got the... The dragon punch? Yeah, like, wasn't that Ryu's signature move? <laughs> Am I crazy? They um, both learned it from Goki. Yeah. No, uh... Goken. Goken. Goken, yeah. Goki, Goki is Akuma. Akuma. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Higher! 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 Oh! 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 We got a real match! 
And we're going to the final round. Gotta, make, the final gotta round. make it a match. Gotta make a real fight. Gotta make it a I game. I love you, Seth Killian. <laughs> Oh, shit. oh, the full one! Eat all those hits. I love this game. This is just a fighting game at its purest form to me. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, this does feel like the most condensed. Oh, yeah, I'm over here. I'm over here. Did that on purpose, I'm over sure. Over here. I'm getting over here. punched by over here. stupid... Oh. Murder you! Yeah! Murder! Murder! Oh! Uh, the damn. dictator takes it! It's the secret, just yell murder a lot. And oh yeah, win. and in tournaments, <laughs> uh, because they're usually multinational, the way they differentiate is, M. Bison is dictator, Vega is claw, claw, and Balrog is boxer. So when you ask boxers or briefs, I mean boxer. <laughs> boxer briefs. <laughs> For a very brief time, I mean boxer. <laughs> Speaking of, hometown advantage. Well, you, you oh man, advantage. fight money, let's go. Funny story, my uh, uh -huh. friend Greg and I were playing Street Fighter one day uh, in, in his living room uh, at his parents' house. His mom comes out and sees us playing. Uh, he is He's playing Balrog and I'm playing T-Hawk. And his mom goes, well, that's really racist of this game. They made the casino the Indians. <laughs> <laughs> the Indians stage. And we were like... <gasps> <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> I almost died. Also, is it just me or does yellow suit back there look like Weird Al? Yes, he does! <laughs> A little bit, yeah, actually. Yeah, punch you! Punch you in the jaw! Also, there's a pimp! <clears throat> He's like, I got money on this fight! Balrog can take him! Oh, jeez, Balrog's also, I... dead! <laughs> I think that's Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> Too good for me. But yeah, the you main know, thing- as a, as a kid, I don't think I'd have gotten that though. <laughs> You're not gonna be your crazy frog, Ryu? No, because I want, I want my other color, but it didn't save it for some reason. Round one, fight! Round one! Actually, funny thing is, um... Do those signs back there say anything? Oh, uh... Pa, uh, Pama? Huh. Honetsugi? Whatever that is. Hmm. Oh, that says water right there. That's just Sui. Uh, yeah. Pama. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Palmer, maybe? It's a brand? I don't know. Yeah, not sure. So that's the thing I'm always curious about as someone who does not Cut. read. Woo! Other yeah. languages. It? It, Whenever it, I see it, 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 it in backgrounds, it, 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 I'm like, is that supposed to be just gibberish? Is it saying something? Uh, it almost always says something. Round two, fight. I mean, they're not just going to put random Japanese in the game. You never know. There are plenty of things that will just have letters to imply that it's text here, but it's just nonsense. Somebody's playing Chun Li. I look over at the chat. First thing I see is extra thick. Yep, <laughs> accurate. Her thighs were always a bit too strong for me. Oh, no, oh that no. just means you're a weak man. Uh, you yes, are. Yes, I am. Totally willing to admit it. Do you not like it if she has a better thigh game than you? Yeah, that's, that's I'm, 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 I'm. Nobody's got a better thigh game than me. <laughs> it's uncomfortable if I'm more impressed by her thighs than my own. God damn oh. it! <laughs> okay, no offense, Greg. All right, not Greg. All right, Greg. Sorry, we're talking about Greg. No offense, Grant, but yeah. I'm pretty sure everything of hers is more impressive than any person <laughs> in this room. It's true. I mean, just check out those shoes. I'd kill for those kicks. And her kicks. I'm pretty sure her kicks would kill you. I always liked her spiky bracelets. Oh, oh yeah, no, I love her spiky bracelets. <sighs> They're cool. That's how you know she's hardcore. Oh shoot! It's time for Kieran and me. <gasps> I'm a, I'm gonna pick my man. I'm go, I'm go real. Do it, go we real. Go. That's all I ever go. Kieran. He's gonna play evil real. We go hard on Earth. 
Jedi Knight Rider with a thousand bits. Yo, thank you. Love you guys so much. Question for the couch. If you could have an animated series about a secondary Dragon Ball character, who would the character be? I want... I don't want to specify Raditz, but I, I want a Saiyans, like, being space pirates cartoon. Like, Ooh. like that is that is the era I am the most curious about. Like, I just want to see the, the Saiyans doing what they do. You know what? I'd like a slice of life where Piccolo gets a job. Ooh. Ooh. That'd be fun. Oh, man, I would kill for a slice of life Dragon Ball show. Honestly. Ox King ruling. Hey. <laughs> What are the politics of the Ox Kingdom? Does he have Ox yeah. nobles that he has to keep in line? You see an Ox liege lord? Yeah, I feel like he just shows up to visit after Dragon Ball yeah. like, and just has just become a regular ass big man. I would like to imply that uh, the Ox King seemed to be kind of a terrible guy at first. Oh, yeah. I mean, even in his name, it's kind of implied that he's kind of an overlord. Oh, no! Shori <laughs> Repa! God uh, damn it! I didn't. I keep getting jumps out of this thing, and I don't want them. Awkward orphan with fifteen hundred bits. Love you guys. Thanks for all the laughs and joy you have brought me. Whenever I thought I couldn't smile, let alone laugh. Aww, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. That's you the best this. thing to hear. I, yeah, I love hearing that. Thank you. Oh, wait, did I just go before this? I don't know. Actually, uh, no, it's your, it's your turn. No, I I, I beat Ben. No. Yeah, but, that's right. Hey, has anybody played, uh... Yes. Pika? We played um, everyone. Pick whoever. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then... <laughs> hey, Blanca! I'm Ken! Dante! Oh, no! Supposedly, Android 18's gonna be in the next death battle against Captain Marvel. I'm sorry. That seems like a weird matchup to me. That is a weird matchup. I would think like Power Girl. I can't remember what a super was like in this. I'm trying to think if there's another robot girl that would make a good matchup, but uh, Jenny. I was just getting ready to say <laughs> from my life as a teenage robot. I mean, I wouldn't actually do that, <laughs> but yeah. Dude, has anyone here seen Battle Angel Alita? Of course. That movie is so fucking cool. It's great. I want Carpenter to make his fucking movie instead of Avatar 2. Carpenter? Two. Or not Carp fucking Cameron. Yeah. Dude, he said he was going to make it, and then he's like, oh, no. Nah, uh, fucking no. Nah, Ferngully, go. why not? I'm going to, yeah. Let's make Ferngully, Pocahontas. Yeah. Stuck me in the bottom of the Marinara Trench. Dances with the last samurai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't have my EX moves. I don't know what to do anymore. You know why, Grant? Why? Because I've got all the EX oh, moves. Thanks, Ben. Oh, Yo, I, I, Roly Poly Broly <laughs> with the... Okay, fine. <laughs> Ten. That was a good one. Roly Poly Broly 200 bits with a good question. Who's your favorite Homestar character? Sidor Card Gage. Actually, uh, my my favorite Homestar character is uh oh I I forget how what his name is but he says Dorben stuff. Oh. Coach uh, Z. Coach Z. Yeah yeah Coach Z is he's, Coach yeah. Good one. Um, Snorkar Gage. Homestar has some good scenes. Homestar is real good. Homestar's oh, yeah. up there. Yeah. Uh. I'm gonna be a basic bitch and say Strong Bad. I was gonna say I, Strong Bad's good. That's like saying your cheat is Vin Diesel. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I was about to be All real about confused because I'm like, no, why would it, why would we have favorite Homestuck characters? We like good things, but um, <laughs> 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 but would you believe I've never watched any Homestar? That, that really that surprises yeah. me. I somehow you would love oh, it. Shoot, no. Oh. Yeah, go again. Fuck it. Yeah, look, that went so by way too quick. It doesn't matter. There's, yeah, there is. <laughs> There is no chance that this is going to be an upset where I come from behind and make it a best of five. So, yeah, go, go ahead and... Yeah, Dalzim, not my character. Yeah. He's got them stretchy arms. Here, here's the thing. If you were good with Dalzim, I'd be in trouble. But, yeah, if you don't if you don't know how to play Dalzim, you are at the worst disadvantage. It's, it's like he's either absolutely terrible for Ken or 
like absolutely terrible against Ken. Okay, I got a hit in. I don't have to suffer the indignity of a perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi Knight I mean, Rider 16 with 500. What death battle ideas do you have? Mm. I've always wanted to see Worf versus Chewbacca. That's a that's a good one. Oh, oh, oh. I think that is about the most even Star Wars slash Trek matchup I can think of. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, Goku versus Superman with good writing. <laughs> ooh, good one. No, There's... no, he said death battle idea. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Oh, we're so mean. <laughs> we like these people. We've been in their stuff. They're cool. They try so hard. But in the end. No, I, I do the thing where I shit on things, but I like death battle. I think the outcomes are nonsense half the time, but everyone is always going to think that. Actually, Super Superman versus Goku is the only one I've ever had a problem with, and it was their justifications that bothered me. And it was mostly because it's like, oh yeah, we're using All Star Superman. You might as well use Elseworld. God damn it, no. Um, for me, who's who's the strongest Digimon? Oh, str oh well, I mean, uh, gosh, that's a that's a tough question. Yeah, you're asking, um, like, in which universe? I was just gonna have him fight Mewtwo <laughs> or Arceus if we were going getting God levels. I oh, think, actually, um, didn't they do a Mewtwo versus somebody? I could have sworn they did. They might have. If, wasn't it Mewtwo versus Shadow or something? You might have been. I think it was that. Somebody in the <laughs> chat, it went by too fast, said uh, Unicron versus Galactus. Uh, I don't know, man. Unicron, planet. Galactus eats planets. Sounds like a short <laughs> fight to me. Uh, oh, no. Nah. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, no, that doesn't go through them. No. Oh, man, ah. that was so close. Oh, jeez. Oh, the pixel. Ah. My evil Ryu, a.k.a. Akuma, wasn't good enough. <laughs> well, mine will, won't be good either. I keep... I don't know if it's just how I hit a D-pad that is like this, but I will hit a button. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I was jumping a lot too. Like, I'm hitting right, and it goes up. Mm. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, I've been having that problem too. Yeah, that that's why I don't like this. Like that's, I, and, but like it, with the the switch, it has like the buttons. It's hard to get a diagonal. It's like yeah. it, I don't know. Actually, it's a pick your poison situation. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Uh, this is very poorly set up. See what I'm saying? <laughs> like if I click left, yeah, sure. Sometimes you'll get a in, diagonal. Yeah. Because yeah, because it's not properly set. Da God damn it, <laughs> Nintendo! Yeah, they call you it. Should a, have known better. They call it a pro controller, but it, you do not get distinct. Uh, you do not get pro controller. Yeah, I don't understand. It feels like analog, not digital. Why don't they just do it like the fucking Sony controllers? That's the perfect. Sony, the, they're yeah. right. The the seg the segmented buttons directions yeah, are so good. I, I don't understand why D-pads got so fucking difficult all of a sudden. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, the NES had a D-pad that worked. Yes! How hard can it be? Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, my. Jeez. Those fiery hands. You can do it! Oh, you can die! Oh, God uh -oh. Super Unhappy Man wants to know if you, if us four were to have a death battle, who would win? Oh, uh... Ben. Yeah, I'm actually gonna, gonna have to say, say that, yeah. I feel like you just have better survival instincts than I would, maybe? I was gonna say that Scott and I would form an alliance, but I would just backstab him, so yeah. Yes, I guess you me. would. <laughs> Yeah, Grant and I would easily form an alliance, but I think Ben would win overall. Although, I don't know. Fucking, fucking Grant and Siv. You want to talk about backstabbing? <laughs> well, I, I backstabbed know. you with religion. Yeah, the if, easiest if, if, backstab. If, if, the victory, <laughs> if a victory condition is converting you, then who knows? <laughs> <laughs> what if we had a debate battle? <laughs> Ooh, that's... That, 
I would love to do one of those, actually. Not even gonna lie. I remember when I discovered speech and debate class. Dude, I love like, it that. It changed my life. Yeah, that's really fun. So I was like, wait, I can have a class that's just about, can I support this argument? Sure. <laughs> I remember my final thing. Let's do another one. I remember my final thing for speech was uh, why Dragon Ball Z is a great series. <laughs> I was, and I walked in with my fucking Dragon Ball Z-ass shirt that my dad had. It was like a jersey that had trunks on the back, and it was awful. <laughs> And you know what? All the kids made fun of me, and they were right to. Okay? <laughs> See, listeners, they sometimes it's okay to get made fun of. You deserve it. <laughs> oh, wow. Also, not saying I was all not of paying you attention. What the hell? <laughs> we just started playing again. I'm like, oh shit, hi. Because I've told you guys this, and I've told a few of the people in the audience, but I found my old posts on a forum called Gaia Online, <laughs> and uh, I was awful. <laughs> I was real bad. It's a wonder you made something of yourself. It it, it honestly is. Yeah, sooner or later, we're gonna oh, need man. to have some kind yes. of worldwide delete the button, internet. Like, if nothing else, like the day you turn 18, like okay, I'm I'm probably oh, gonna fuck up another more round after that. After oh this, yo, but, oh. Karen, you have another round. Oh, I do. Well, oh. I'm I'm dead. Well, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost, we're about at that time. Oh, God, we, yeah, chat's exploding punching. with Gaia. Yeah, we all remember. We all made bad decisions. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, forgot how much I like Woo! <laughs> nice. Woo! Woo! Do so, like fucking Devil angry, May Can. Angry Beavers. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that, oh, that is the Angry Beavers thing. Yeah. And they're all, they're all just like, hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Richard Horvitz, man. Yeah. Oh, just... and the guy who played Salem, the cat. Yeah. But, but Norbert. Spin of the Teenage Witch. That's right. Yeah. Which, by the way, they made that cat canonically bisexual. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? Yeah. I think it was a comic. And they're, and they, well, they he flat says out. something in the show. Oh, no, they say it. He says a lot of things in the show that are like, oh, okay, he's got a thing for the dudes, too. But they never, like, say it outright. And, like, finally, it's like, my bi curious cat. It's like, oh, okay, that's neat. I didn't realize that the uh, kid from Captain Underpants is apparently canonically gay. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, Harold. Oh. Because they have a, oh, they have a okay. flash forward segment where they go to the future. They're like, him and his wife, and then Harold and his husband. And I'm like, oh. They don't make a big deal out of it. It's just, yeah, it's yeah, not, that's... yeah, it's not like focused on. It's just like offhandedly mentioned. I'm like, that's cute. Before we get to before we get to arms, I got some got a little time for a little bitty bops. Uh, Strider 6606, if you guys were on your deathbed and were given the chance to have one wish granted, but can't be to stay alive, what would it be? <laughs> I was going to say, to not be on my deathbed. Uh, <laughs> To, uh, let's see. To be reincarnated. Ooh. As? Just in general. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I mean, Come anything? Oh, wait. To be reincarnated with all of my uh, memories from my previous life. Ooh, there you go. I would. I'd want to be reincarnated as a bookshelf. <laughs> but one of those shitty bookshelves that gets hung on the wall. Like yes. Little ones. Yeah. I can't think of anything, honestly. I would want. Oh! Yeah! Damn! I've been worn down, guys. <laughs> I play game after game after game. You can't handle it. Alrighty, well, it's almost yeah, seven. Let's go ahead yeah, and yeah. swap over to Ar Arm Zoo. Uh, get that up. I don't know how these things do. I'll let you figure that out. I would probably pick a video game or something for my deathbed wish and be like, make a really good, fully orchestrated version of this soundtrack, please, <laughs> before I die. You know, speaking of Deadpool versus uh, Helsing, which, uh, which is, would be Alucard, um, <laughs> we got, we got a, we no, got Dead, no, Deadpool versus uh, Integra Helsing. Yeah, 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 no, I would totally watch that, actually, <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, she'd be a great straight man. Oh, absolutely. Uh, but yes, that was Jedi Knight Rider's question with the 500 bits. Uh, but you were about to say, um, keep keep yourselves peeled because uh -huh. there might be a something that we're making 
that uh, you know I, I know I know a certain cell games have started, <laughs> but there's one thing that we've been holding on to. Uh -oh. It's just taken a while. What were we watching where we said someone was just Deadpool? Oh, fucking uh, so, the Master of Masters. The Master that's Master right. Master yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingdom Hearts. Yes, Master Master right. of Masters. <laughs> Alrighty. I was like, we were watching something recently where we were like, their leader's just Deadpool. We got to play it the way it was meant to be played with the motion controls as it advertises. Yeah. Obviously. I can't I'm sure wait. you apologists will let us know that we can play it with other ways, as this Nintendo does the in the thumbs bottom up left. grip. The thumbs up. Thumbs up. That about sums it up. All right, let's see how good this is, Grant. The basics. <laughs> Do we need L and R? Should we have the little? Things? I don't know. <laughs> Be the ramen girl. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be ramen girl. Where's the? Oh, can I not be girl with the great ass? Is she nope. not, not nope. playable? Nope. Set arms. No, okay, nope. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be this guy. He looks crazy. He does look crazy. Min Min. He looks I'm, like he's from Clay Fighter. I'm DNA man. Yeah. Oh, cool. I love how, like. Oh yeah, his arms, arms like spiral gyrate. Out. That's cool. <laughs> arms use the thumbs up grip. Oh this, wait, this is a test. Oh, do we this, want? Yeah. Do we want Eleanor? Because I kind of can't press it when I'm holding it like this. For those of for those of you who are curious, no, the game is not out yet. We're doing the test punch. Yeah, there's like the online or something, some demo thing that's available for now. We got dinner, man. We got one, and then there's other ones some somewhere. They might actually they might be on my desk. Hang on a sec. Sure, <laughs> I'll just keep the thumbs up going until you get back. So while you guys vamp with chat. Oh, where'd it go? Somebody was asking. Here it is. Alpha Current asks, because of HBI 2K, I watched the Berserk movies. I'm sorry. Because of Kieran, I watched Monster Musume. Because of Lenny, I watched JoJo's. Grant, what should I watch next? You should watch Lost. And let, like, don't spoil it for yourself. No. If you already have, then fine. No. You can watch something else. It's but so I think Lost is fantastic, and everyone who hates it only read summaries and watched the end and was like, this is dumb, and did not get the full experience, which is where it's good. Watch. TFS debate, debate club, counterpoint, Kaiser Neko, what should he watch instead? Madoka Magica. Watch Madoka. It's super fucking good and depressing and amazing. I'm sorry, this point goes to Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Lost? You're going to choose Lost over Madoka? <laughs> I don't give a shit about yes. either of those things. Yeah. <laughs> I just One felt like giving you the business. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love getting the business from you. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> All right, well, I have three... Of them, and not four. I don't know where the other one is. I have no idea where. So I'll go ahead and forego one of them. So if I lose, I get to blame that. <laughs> well, wait. Don't we only need... Oh, wait, no. There we do have... Because you have to hold it like two. this. Oh, two shit. Also, Psycho Pass. Yeah, Psycho Pass. Super good. Don't watch the second season. Watch the movie instead. If you're looking specifically for Animu, Hunter Hunter is real good. Hunter Hunter is super good. Parafusion asks, Couch, what happened to Final Fantasy? I don't fucking know. It it went downhill. I just kind of <laughs> kept going. I yeah. kept making new ones. And then 15 happened, and it was pretty good. 15 was fun. I enjoyed 15. I, um, liked, I liked 15 a lot when I played it, but then that DLC came out, and I had no interest in going back to it. Like I'm waiting for all the DLC to come out, then I'll go back. I'm not doing this episodic bullshit. I'm gonna... I really, really liked it when I played it. And I have been buying it as it's been coming out, so once it's all done, I'll play all of those stories and it'll be great. I don't know where it is, so whatever. Weird. Uh, might be yeah, at the apartment, I assume. Folks asking who my ex is today, my ex is Polly. We had an open relationship, it didn't work out. Good one. Damn it. That's harmony! Alrighty. Ready to, ready to get thumbed? Let me get my wristbands on. Oh, sorry. I don't want safety. Nintendo banning the stream. That's right. <laughs> You're a Saints Row 3 fan. Strap it on. <laughs> <laughs> Do these have a specific hand? They need? Okay. I'm seeing R on this, so I'm going to assume this is right. I have no idea, Grant. Somebody's saying watch City Hunter? Oh, my God. Dude, hell yeah. City Hunter's great. It's a million years old. So? All right. Here we go. We're going to arm you. Hey! Start with the basics. Hit the buttons. Hey! Oh, are those the L and R we need to hit? Yeah, these. L and R.
Ugh. Ew! Oh, wow. Coming at you. Ah, I, my jump is like delayed. I like shoot lasers. Okay. Twist your hands to curve the punches. Like what? Ooh, you sure you shoot beams. You shoot beam beam. it. Curve, curve a punch on me. Punch with both hands to grab. <laughs> the ah! tech. Kids, there's nothing better than being grabbed by someone you like. <laughs> but when you're grabbed by a green blob monster, that's no good. That's double good, according to this screen. <laughs> Alright. Guys, do we need that's no good on the soundboard? Or that, that, that's a good one. I would kill for that. Okay. Alright, you rush me. Remind me to remind Grant to put that's no good on the soundboard. When do you want to be reminded? Say a time or location. Are you ready to get fucked up? In I'm hour. ready to destroy your ass. Get the fucked. For 8.06 p.m. is ready. Remind Grant to put that's no good on the soundboard. Do you want to set up? Yes. And that's the only way anything gets done around here. <laughs> <laughs> he tells us to do it or does it himself. Yep. No, I tell my phone to tell me to tell you to do it. <laughs> How's it? Oh, it's crap. So it's... So these motion controls are real bad. I can tell you that. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way. <laughs> I like the damage numbers, though. It's got my favorite thing. <laughs> okay, well, what are you gonna do when I do this? Oh. <laughs> Go, Dragon Beams! Grab her! Grab her! No! Oh! Fuck you! Go, my dragon! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I have done it, Noodle <laughs> Man. All right. Okay. Oh, I want. How do I unarm my arms? Oh, okay. okay. Down. Oh wow, Survivor's making a pot pie. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, that sounds good too. <laughs> see, okay, I like, the, I like the dragon. Let's do dragon on my left and this on my right. Oh, cool, you can switch up your hands. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. Like, everyone has different hands and they do different shit. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. No! Oh, neat. Oh, and when you do your all, okay, cool. Would this work better if we were facing each other? I don't see how that works. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in caution land. In fact, that that's actually a bad idea because then you wouldn't. Yeah. Around the world. Okay, I like this loadout better than two dragons. Boom. My noodle arms. Forget about double dragon. Get nope. out of the way. Jump, dash, that. Nope. I, I curve behind around your block. You have to dash or jump. I'm mesmerized by this. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I should also, be looking at the chat or trying to keep up the chatter, but... Also, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing because this looks complicated as shit. It really is. I already tell you this is not worth $60. <laughs> this is worth 40 
if this is the gameplay loop, this is not... It's, it's fun, but it's not crazy. Ah, damn it. Get shot! Uh, oh, oh, man! man. I shot a billion Beyblades! <laughs> okay, so you, like, super... Just throwing fidget spinners. Okay, you supercharge your next, uh... Arm, dude. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. Has it been a nice turn? It is... Go nuts. I believe so. Woo! So... You move around with like this. Just this is how you like pilot it basically, like you're kind of piloting them. Dash, jump, punch, super. Gotcha. You don't need to strap it or anything. We honestly don't even need the Can I have the, grips. the laptop? Yeah, absolutely. Hannes, does that, does this have Streamlabs open? Yeah, inside? just old tab to get to it. Okay. All right, so. All right. So I guess it's just party match. Party match? Oh, okay. Am I wrong? No, oh, you're right. Uh, here, if you want to look through Streamlabs, you want to find. Yes! How do I do up. this? Um, oh, no, party match! Oh, I know this is online. Oh. Go to Versus. Versus. Oh, okay. Oh, it's unavailable. We just did it! I think you did party match. Fight online for fun. Hit that. Yeah, two, PM, two player. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Skip. Okay. Okay. Because you have to be connected to their server. That's why it's through the online uh, thing. I like this you. dude. He looks cool. Ninjata. Springaling. 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 The more the you more punch, punch, the faster. You have like chains for arms. What is this dystopian world where our arms have been replaced by these? Things F floating hands that are oh. connected. Oh shit! Um, wait, you're you should. You're fighting Osala Push. That's yeah, you're you're fighting online. You're fighting someone right now. Fighting another human. How do I jump? R, L is dash. And move like you're piloting them, like this. Right, right. Got him. You know, so curve your punch, and, like tilt it to go around. Right, yeah. Oh no, no, oh no, so bad. Springman. Oh, you got him out of his thingy, so he was like vulnerable. Oh, yeah, the grabs. Hey, uh, good job. You are a ninja. I'm a ninja, ninja, ninja. Go, ninja, go, ninja, go. Oh. And your super is the triggers. Oh, hey. nice. Get punched. Yo, Shadow Hero 92. I feel like Frankie from One Piece would be good in this. Yeah. That'd oh, be yeah. cool. You did it. Yeah. You got three A points, Kieran. That's why I'm good. That's why I'm the greatest. Meanwhile, Kieran 2. What is are you, are you a four man team? Oh, man. What's about to happen? What's about to go down? I don't know. Oh no! I'm so confused. What? I don't know. Hey, no, that's that's not Kieran One. It's just someone else. Uh, that's you, Ben. I think. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no! I mean, I like this team mode, but I don't know why we're not getting split screen for it, and why it's someone else. Because you got to play online. If so this we, was if this was versus, so we, we can't do local versus. But well, you did. You totally I, I think did that was just that. for the tutorial. That was probably just the tutorial. Oh no! Hopefully, your teammate can hold them off. Go, uh, John! They're untouched. You can do it. Yeah, he's got this. You got this, John. Johnny, be good. Do you remember what block was? Uh, tilting together. Ah. Uh. 
The punching mechanic reminds me of one of my favorite games, uh, Robot Aka McDrive, where you <laughs> put in like inputs to do like, like you'd have to put right and then upward on the on the analog stick to do like a cut like that. Oh yo! Oh, now yo, you're yo. teamed up. Gonna play some V ball. Oh no! Hit what? the ball back and forth. Fuck! Oh, we're not playing Shit. a different game. Fuck! It's not about winning. It's about having fun. It's true. Nope. No. <laughs> oh no! Save it. Yeah. Nice. Good save. Get it on oh, on their side. Can you just clear the net? Yeah! Yeah! Don't oh. let oh. oh! The spike! Projected. Go! No! 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 Oh, no! No! You don't oh, no! Know. Yeah! 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 Get it! Oh! oh no. Yes! Oh, Way nice. to go. You're the best. You're the best. Oh, no. What? Oh, shit. I feel like you brought it in. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. Does it like home in on that box? I feel like you guys are. Yeah, it does. It totally does. Yeah, it looks like when you do the grab, it no. gives it a spin. Oh no! Yeah, get it over there. Yeah. Oh. That was. How ah. does... How does moving happen? Oh, good. <laughs> like Pil you're just piloting you're, them. Yeah, you're like. I imagine they are robots. I'm imagining yep, that he's a robot who likes that corner a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> Seems legit. Rick B321 with 5 Hundo just started teaching English in Japan again, so now I can only reliably make it to Casual Friday, but know that all your very amusing antics keep me sane while I try to teach crazy loud Japanese kids. Cheers. Thank you. And good luck on teaching. Bash Killzone with 5 Hundo. Hey guys, what show is better, Code Loco or SAOL? Sword Art Online that's what Legends. They wrote. <laughs> code, oh, code, code Lyoko. That's what I mean. No, Code Loco, the Four Loco uh, animated series. Four Lyoko. Shoot. <laughs> okay, let's hope. I hope I'm. Oh, yeah, man, so, it's so me. Just, so just one Kieran this time. That's all you need. Only need one Kieran. Oh, hey. What up? <laughs> Bring one of them to you. Oh, hello. Inside his bandages, there's nothing. <laughs> Come over here! I dig the 2v2 stuff. I enjoy my 2v2s. Yeah. Like. Oh, oh. you're hitting him. Yeah. Okay. You keep doing grabs. Try doing just the punchies. No. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, it worked. Hey. You got your super meter filled. Yeah, hit hit like the side, the outside buttons. Z R Z L. There you go. Now punch. Oh, oh shoot. no, he threw uh. you. Whoop! Oh come on! Oh! Boom! Take that. Was it Izzy? Izzy. Is he dead? Uh, 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 uh. Yes, he Buh. is. It's like a mummy gorilla. We should probably let you guys have. Uh, it, let, not, let Ben back in at least yeah. one more. I'm not, I will not die. <laughs> I'll say that. Wow, somebody's confident. No, I mean. No, as in, I will be perfectly he, he, fine he can, not touching fine the controller. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's not killing him. Music is pretty good. I do agree. Yeah, I've, I've actually liked the music a lot. The, a nice tribal technique. Is warm up just fighting each other? Yeah, try, hit, what's, yeah what's warm up? Oh, uh, so okay, so you guys can be messing around. Okay. Oh, I'm you're here. finding like targets though. Uh, oh, that's fine. You can at least. Oh, oh, hey, oh hey, hey, what's happening? Time to fight. Can All right, Ben. Two. Gun bare. These people didn't realize they'd be fighting internet celebrities, Team Four Star. I believe in you. Believe in the change you want to see. Oh, in the, the world. boomerang! Get the fidget spinner. Oh man. Ah, all rockets. All Rocket rockets doll. All the time. That's really cool. 
I dig that. Oh, oh yeah, she's using, she's using the good loadout. Ben, I think I think some of your problem might be this is a thumbs up game. You've got it like that. Wait. Yeah, you want your you should have the what? Oh, like this, like this. See? What? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's just say fuck motion controls and use the other controllers. No, that's not the way this is meant to be played. It says in the like, bottom you can jump yeah, like the other ways oh. too. Yeah, like you're... Whoa, you got like little little rockets, little fins. I don't know how much of a difference it would make, but that's ah, uh, you yeah, got yeah, yeah, you got snipped. You like this because you you you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Because yeah, like side motions and stuff make a difference. Dwagon. You may know me from such films as TFS Gaming. Thank you, Cage Victus. Yeah. <laughs> Five in a row bonus. Winner for Oct Octopush. I like Octopush. Let's... Why can't we spectate these fights? How hard is it to do that game? Thankfully, they're fast enough, it looks like. Hit LNR. Uh, oh, uh, people are saying do local. Apparently, you can do local. Can you do local? Because that's, what, that's what the internet is saying. I'm relaying the message. All right, we'll yep. try. Yeah, we'll try it after this. Never steered us wrong before. Correct. <laughs> oh. Boy, Wild God. Rose, uh, you're asking Xenoverse 2 or Fusions? Get Fusions. Yes, get yeah, fusions. fusions. Fusions is very fun. Grab yeah. Diva. Ah. Uh. And then put Diva back down. And then grab that man. Why do you have a red hair? Oh, because someone else is also him. I was wondering why your color was different. Oh, man. It's player two version. I feel like half the entertainment of this is meant to be played with the motion controls. Yes. Because this does I feel not... Like oh, man, I did this, and the person did this. Yeah, like, this does not seem like it would hold up as interesting with a regular controller. Oh, no! Oh, no! I finally lost. Oh, but the teammate saved the day. Oh, no! Almost. Oh. Diva's too strong. It's like a mixture of May and Diva and Tron Bon. <laughs> okay. And I hate all of it. <laughs> Give me the Tron Bon. How many more waifus can we fit into this one? <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, do B to cancel out. Uh, leave. Leave. All right. Let's, let's see if there's local. Nope. Unavailable. That's that's supposed to be... That, that mode in Switch games means other people that have a Nintendo Switch. Unavailable. It's just party match. Yep, it's all, just party all match. grayed out. Oh, it is 723. Should we go one more? Yeah. All yeah, right. do a couple more. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's like they're holding hands. All right, let me try another person. I think you're expecting a bit more length out of our last option than we'll be there. Ribbon Girl! Eh, it at least has a lot of characters yeah, sure. to pick. That's true. It does have enough characters. Was an LNR, remember? The top thumb things. There you go. <laughs> there, oh, there you go. Hey, I like hey, it. Yeah, Get over you, here. Come on. Come here. Oh, I'll geez. be your friend. <laughs> oh, hey. It's time to go. <laughs> time to play some V ball again. Oh, V balling it up. Hey, worked all right last time. Oh, man. They've got double spring man. Yeah, well, we got dead or alive volleyball. Because we got the girls. I'm Zia. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. They spiked that shit. Yeah, they did. Wow. Oh. Ugh. Get over there. Get over there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh. Uh. Oh, ah! uh oh no! You guys are like really far away from the net. Can you? Yeah. yeah. 
Come on. I believe in the heart of the ball. There you go. No oh, shit. shit. No. Oh, get exploded, you bastards. Yeah. yeah. Now we're yeah. trying to pop them. I thought they'd take recoil. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, I was curious lost. to see what would happen if it was tied. Yeah, I was curious, too. Too bad that other team was too good. Too good. Double spring man, top tier. Calling it now in the Evo Grand Finals of <laughs> arms volleyball. Double spring man will be banned. Chat, you're echoing my sentiments. Let it be known that I called it. Call, what did you call? Uh, this. <laughs> I like it. Uh, oh, can, no! I'm enjoying it. I like it. You can like it? Are you $60 liking it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am. That I, person's I, name is Atamu Kieran. You have to kill him. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, no, I think it's our team. Oh, it's your teammate. Good, good. Kieran and Kieran together at last. Atamu. Atamu. This mode's fine. The ball is dumb. You well, say the ball is dumb, but I enjoy it. I, I think this is primarily the mode they're expecting people yeah, to play. Yeah, this looks cool. I can dig this mode. Atamu Kieran launches a super. Look how much it does. Is that... Oh, it's like some item. There's some... I, well, I think it puts up a field and you start healing if you're within the circle around it. So I kept seeing green numbers pop Damn up it. over their health. Damn it. That might be one of their abilities then, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's getting destroyed. Atomo you, you can use your thing. You have your super. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Aura, aura, atata. Uh, oh, no. Uh, tornado. tornado. What the hell is happening? He's armed and dangerous. Yeah, get out of here, you punk ass bitch. Whoa, now. EX Paladin. Oh, he's done. Got him. Kai O. -O. <laughs> yeah, you heard that too. Aussie. Kai O. -O. I like the hidden Y's in the Australian accent. Like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's like, there's like a, a forced A sound in some words. Sorry wait, for wait, the Australians wait, what does that watching say? and Yo, me. Totally. What? Ta ma uh, I can't. I, I can read it. Yeah. Because it looked like there was a there was an extra no, symbol before ye. the ta. Yeah. There was like a T then ta. It's just Japanese for Tyler. <laughs> t t Tyler. I'm clapping. <laughs> All the people in the front. Clap your hands. Oh, Yeah, this feels like neat experiment, like tech demo experiment. Oh man, they're kicking our ass. I think they're actually might be decent at this game. No, that's not fair. You can't have people who are good at this game playing. No, not already. It's Is been that out a pro for Genji. It's been all out for all of twenty <laughs> minutes. Get Is that the metal ribbon girl. No. Why isn't my grab working at all? So they Holy. keep intercepting it. They, it has to be unchallenged. That means they didn't. They like. Fully go. It's very unsafe. Oh, man. Oh, geez, the combos. We just got riggedy, riggedy, ragged, son. It's the only way I do it is unsafe. <laughs> Clean and, well, dirty and unprotected. <laughs> All right, let's, Grant, you want back in? Sh sure. There you go. I'll throw, throw hands. Throw down. Throw hands. Karen? I'm okay. I'm good. <laughs> All right. I thought I would offer. Really, I just want this nerd's rope. Good reason. If you want to talk stretchy things that go far and bring me joy? I, I don't know. I'm trying. I. No, my look, dick. It it's the, the end of the week. <laughs> We're all tired. I'm not tired. I'm ready to go. With my dick. We're all Sorry, tired. Michael. Your teammate dropped out. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> big deal. 
Well, if my teammate's not gonna do anything, I guess it becomes. How fair. are you? How are you gonna deal with this guy? You're flipping it. You gotta go straight. That's why you're getting the curve. First of all, don't tell him how to go with his life. I will tell him how to go with his life. There's a there's a good a good book that tells you how. The good book. <laughs> Stop punching me, friend. <laughs> friend. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Unless is this a three for all? We're not tethered together, so. Oh, this oh. is a oh, oh, battle it's royale. It's a three and for all. And I'm in the middle. It is a three for all. They're making oh, a man. Girl get, get out. Get, Back out. Reverse. Man, they're sharing that, that L, bull no, 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 man. L, L, L. Hit L. Hit L. <laughs> I punched him. <laughs> All right, let let me in. Oh, All no. Right. Yeah, you're the you're the real armist here. I, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you how to arm it up. You did pick ramen, girl, so we're good. Also, I'm pretty sure the guy who's, like, I'm pretty sure that guy actually knows what he's doing. He's been watching the ARMS competitive coverage. Motion controls only. Can't wait for EVO special event. It's the way Nintendo's going to make him do it. They almost had to put items on Smash Brothers. They might as well do this. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. They what? Almost made them play items on on Smash Brothers for a tournament. <laughs> Because Nintendo sponsor, they're like, no, you have to play this the way Nintendo would do it. Items. Oh man, I know the first. I know <laughs> the first big brawl tournament had items on. Oh, that's so good. I mean, no, this these <laughs> games aren't being played for fun, Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody Stop. is playing these for fun. Uh, okay, that says Tama Tamago. Yeah, I'm 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 one of those guys who's like, if you're playing Smash, you play with items. <laughs> There's no no. Shut up, Kieran. No, you absolutely you're can. Bad. I'm not saying you're not allowed to, or you know, you shouldn't. Just saying that if you want with items, then the array if, to if, like if you paid to enter a tournament, it's yeah, really gonna suck when it's like, oh geez, it's too bad the maximum tomato dropped next to him and not me, and there was nothing I mean, either look, of us could have done I to can, change I that. I can agree with the tournament, okay? <laughs> I can agree with that. Yo, they play competitive poker. Do you think they turn off the randomizer in that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. You can still fold. <laughs> you can go, oh geez, my. Essentially, item drop was terrible, so I'm just not gonna play this round. <laughs> is there a, is there a um a fucking rush? Rush? You like, mean dash? Dash, dash. L and R are dash and jump, and you got you have to do that. Oh shit, damn it. I wonder if these teammates are all like, it's Kieran, guys, it's terrible. Yep. This internet famous. Oh no! Oh, oh fuck! Ah oh, shit! If these guys knew that they were fighting people who. They're treading made DBZA, on holy ground. Oh god. If they only oh, had god. any idea, the fame. <laughs> yeah, just by having their username on this. They're being exposed more than they ever will in their life. <laughs> you should think more us. people are thinking about you now, Atomic no, no. than <laughs> ever will. I have one arm, thanks for the five hundo. Happy Friday, you sons of bitches. Beautiful, wonderful. Thank you, X Paladin, <laughs> for saving my bacon. My bacon is saved. Here, Ben, would you like your Chromebook? Sure. The book. The good this oh, this is the good book. Yeah. This what did you think we the, were talking this about? This is not the good book. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is the book that's five hundred dollars cheaper than the one I should have gotten. <laughs> well, I mean, this is the affordable if you book. Want, we can make an accident and then buy something with a company <laughs> we card. We can have a, a terrible don't, accident and then a company expense. Don't don't think I haven't thought of it. <laughs> oh shit! Oh hey yo, what? yo let's do let's do it. Are Kieran, you ready? Shit ball. All right. Shit ball. <laughs> God, the fact, that her, it. the fact that their names are Ribbon Girl and Spring Man, just, or whatever, Spring Boy. You like Mega Man, that's like, an invalid. You're not yeah, even yeah, trying. No, no, you shut like up, Mega shut Man, up. That's invalid. right. Yeah, right. but they're robots made to only do these this. These are robots. They don't have arms. Yeah, I was about to say, what do you think these are real people? Jesus Christ, also, I hope Also, those not. characters exist in a world where that's everyone's name, and this one, it's only theirs. I mean, are you sure about that? We don't know much about the world this takes place in. 
<laughs> it's dystopian. Uh, welcome to Game Theory. This is a dystopian world. Well, yeah, but like we have Ninjara <laughs> and whatever ramen yeah. girl's name is. He's a ninja robot made out of a jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> that said, I do keep referring to Ramen Girl as Ramen Girl, despite her having an actual <laughs> name. So maybe just Ribbon Girl and Spring Boy are just <laughs> actually works. beating me to the punch, if you Man, will. Man, why are they so bad? They don't fucking dash and jump. That's the key to this game. Killing them. Oh, yeah. They're volley bombing it. Bam! Get dunked. We finished Where's them. The it mercy wasn't even rule. a timeout. It was just... Yeah, you're you're competent at this, and I'm 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 okay. Well, we're obviously the best players on the server. We right might now, be so. the best right now. They're fighting. I want to do a match, and then we can switch over. All right. I know you're waiting with bated breath for quality. Masturbated breath. The master of masturbators. Master of and the masturbator of masters. Morbidly as with well. five hundo bits for my brothers and stretchy arms. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Uh, I got. I got. That, that, that was a good one. Well, oh my God! They're making DNA man. Yes! That's kind of fucked up. Oh, and shit. now I'm interested about the lore. Yeah. How do I? How do I target him? 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 I Thank think, you. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't think you really target. You just move yourself. See, the ancient DNA men were sometimes targeted by robot mosquitoes. Dinosaurs? <laughs> no, dinosaurs don't exist in this world. Oh. Well, first of all, <laughs> they might. No, the the fossils were buried by Satan to make uh, you I think was gonna that say, that's yeah. right. <laughs> to make you yeah. think that they were there. Yeah. God buried those buried those bones to test us. We're Some, apparently too offensive. Somebody, somebody knocked closed the door. No, no, someone just closed the door. We are too offensive for nope. their for their Ears. I do think they were getting voice actors in, so maybe people are trying to, you know, work. Act, do actual work, make things. Whoop. Oh, pop him. I believe in you, Kieran. Uh, except don't. for the fact that he has more yeah, health he had than that, you do He got no damage. That Man, guy that guy is not bad. No, the other guy didn't do shit. Yeah, well, I don't think he did shit either. I killed the other guy. Yeah, that guy sat back while you killed that other dude. <laughs> yeah, he's good. <laughs> Strategery. Well, I don't like this game. <laughs> I have no desire to pick this up for 60 US dollars. <laughs> Arms. Demo available now for what? Probably like a couple hours, like they usually uh, do. They're doing they're doing it for today for like yeah I think two hours and then probably I think tomorrow and then the week after that I believe okay. they're doing it again on a Saturday and a uh, Friday and Saturday again. So yeah, check it out if you got a switch. Uh, there you go. We're gonna switch over to our next thing, our surprise. A uh, new video, another video game, not a new, a new video yes, game. Yes, a new video game. A uh, new video yeah, game. Brand new forever. Do you guys like Super Smash Brothers? I mean, I thought it was okay. Well, have we got something even more sort of okay for you? <laughs> but, okay, well... Okay, actually, okay. yeah, I was about to say, actually, it's kind of <laughs> sort of less okay. More why. Let's okay. see if this goes through. Yeah. Give it a second. I have, to, I have to change it. Yeah. Is it? Oh, come on. Yeah, come on, well, baby. yeah, hold on. We got to... We gotta do a thing. Give us a sec. OBS, this game's too good for it. Oh no, thanks. Secondo. Thank Dragon Curask for me while I uh, try and figure this out. Dragon Curask, thanks for the 1500 bits. His message is have some bits for cheering up and cheering me up on a day where everything is hell bent on giving me the short end of the stick. Thank you guys for being super awesome lunar love. Don't worry, we'll always give you the long end of our sticks. <laughs> There are nerds everywhere. It's because they fall off those ropes really easily. Yep, just ner nerds can't hang on to ropes, man. That's why I was so bad at gym. I get it. Oh, 
Oh, uh, and Vegeta's dad's dicks. I don't know if we mentioned this. Enjoy these bits as it was payday today. Enjoy your weekend. Ooh. A thousand bits. Thank you very much. One thousand bits. A thousand bits. Thanks for the bits. Yes, yeah. thank you very much. A bit a day keeps the doctor away. That's not true at all. I might help you pay for the doctor if you get sick. Yeah, and I, and I'm actually, sorry, Mr. Kodega. Nerds rope aren't even that good. It's sugar on sugar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're not convincing me of anything other than <laughs> that what I, don't I already know. believed. Tell me something I don't already know. Oh, PlayStation trips. Yep. I haven't held a PlayStation 3 controller in a long time. Uh, they feel so light and like... Like, I, f yeah. I feel like this is the, the Chinese knockoff, but no, it's real. Yeah, you feel like you can just crush it yeah. in your big man hands. Yeah, and I've got little baby hands, so if I feel like that, I can only imagine what people with actual man hands probably feel like. Yep. Well, while we uh, try and get that figured out, uh, will you switch us back over to the camera, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Thanks. Let's see what else the chat has to say. Hey there, chat. What you doing? What are you talking about, chat? Chat at me. Let me know what you got going on. <laughs> FBI agent Girl. wants Kaiser family stories. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to think of one. Because I have a real... I have a couple of big ones. I've gone through most of my kind of smaller ones. Um, and I've got one big one, but I don't know if I want to say it here. <laughs> um, this doesn't seem like the audience. Oh, okay. So, my mom... At the age of somewhere in, in her 40s. Okay. Uh, got a boob job. Okay. Uh, my mom is also like 5'4", maybe. <laughs> and so she went from this petite woman who was, you know, who was in shape decently enough. She was actually a personal trainer for a little while. Um, and she just became like this Decided way she tan, top, top heavy woman. It was really bad. Um... And I asked my mom once because it was a, it was a kind of a debate in our family of why she spent six thousand dollars on a boob job when my dad needed a, uh, LASIK eye surgery to do his actual job. And I asked her, I was like, I was up front, like, Mom, why did you? Why get would a boob? you do this? Yeah, why would you get a boob job for six thousand dollars when Dad could have used that for LASIK eye surgery? To which, without blinking, looks at me in the eye and says, "Look, I like sex, okay." <laughs> Well, all right. Makes I, sense. You know, I like sex, and I haven't had a boob job. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure you've gotten at least one boob job in your life. <laughs> yeah, okay, not fair. <laughs> <He's> like, ah. <laughs> Touche, good sir. So do you guys have any weekend plans? Uh, actually, yes. Ooh. I have a couple of friends coming into town. My friends Austin and Patrick from Lake Chuck. Ooh. Actually, Austin's done a lot of the uh, shirt designs for Immortality and the Bitches and uh, a couple of other ones. Um, he's one of my <laughs> very good, very long-time friends. Very ha happy to have him and Patrick up here. Um, and, hey. uh, again, we're going to go to the uh, Scarborough Renaissance Fair on Monday. Nice. And we'll, you guys will be there. Guys. Wait. What's this? This isn't Smash Brothers at all. Well... No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it isn't. Let's see how that finale should have played out. Oh my. Okay. Well, where's where, there's Jackety Jack? Aku went into his true Don't evil form. Jack, yeah, his true back. form. True, true evil f form. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can you I hit, change? Can you, I change my uh, uh, hit X? Oh, and then you have to select them first. All right, selected. Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. I love that. It, I wish it was white, like when he wore it. Yeah, yeah, me too. Oh, wow. All right, well, I'm going to be Evil Jack. All right. The buttons for this are we move with the D-pad. Um, I think one of the shoulders is uh, roll. The other is put up your shield. Square is like your punches. Triangle is like your special moves. Okay. X is jump. And circle is grab. Okay. 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 So what show are we watching? Uh, we're watching Samurai Jack. Oh, hey, that's uh, that's fucking Space Ghost. That yeah, is Space Ghost. Yay! Canonically commenting this whole game. 
It's the very end. He says he wants to make a talk show. <laughs> so, all right. Now that we're starting this, uh -huh. let's talk about the Samurai Jack Sa spoilers. Samurai okay. Jack. Samurai Jack. So, are, are we calling spoiler Two. warning right now? Yes. Yep. All, all right. right. Spoiler, spoiler warning. Spoiler if you warning. have not seen season five of Samurai Jack, and you care about spoilers, this is your one and only warning. Get the fuck out. Uh, we love. Turn you. this down just a tad. This game is absurdly loud. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. There you go. There we go. All right. So now, so people can hear us. Spoiler warning. For season five of Samurai Jack, people have been asking for hot takes. We're gonna give the hottest takes. Does he leave? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Oh my Go, god. Go, Fred Fred Burger. Kieran, tell me why the finale of Samurai Jack was hot garbage that nobody should enjoy. Don't have me open it. Everyone's gonna yell at me. <laughs> Alright, look. I um, really like the finale. I like it a lot too. I love season five. I absolutely love it. Every single episode had something that I positively took a lot oh my god i'm so bad at this game <laughs> no, um, this then game i is took just something away from uh the first five episodes of season five are some of the best that gendy tartakovsky has ever made um i loved it um the second half is kind of where oh my god jesus why <laughs> this game is i got i had to let this breathe for a second <laughs> most uh. obnoxious i win that's how the finale should have gone aku killed jack <laughs> I'm pretty sure they replaced all the voices of the characters in this. I'm fairly positive. All right, here. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? Before we get into the finale, let's talk about the let's let's do a things we liked about the season, things we didn't like about the season, and the thing the finale. We'll touch on the finale at the very end. All right. So let's talk about the things we love about this first season or our fifth season. <laughs> I fucking loved uh, Jack's struggle to gain back his sanity. That was real good. I loved the fact that he was Dexter. straight up considering uh, seppuku. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it was sort of interesting because the moment we see Jack for the first time, he looks nothing like he's ever looked before. Yeah. Um, he's got the full beard. He's got, like, his hair is all in, like, all in disarray. He's, he has a fucking lion's mane, and it's great. And he is a road warrior samurai, and it looks so good. But the, also one of the first things you notice is that he no longer has his sword, and that's weird. I liked it, though. I, I liked the, the quest to reclaim the sword. Just like, bit. I'm allowing you guys to talk, because I can literally just talk about this. <laughs> no, that's why I was letting you go. All right, well, I'll continue. I don't mind. I, I'm Dexter, so yeah, I'll I'll get to my shit. Okay. <laughs> um, I the first couple of episodes, like such minimal use of dialogue as well, mm -hmm. which you know I really could appreciate because Gendy Gendy's got a great uh, grasp on like all of his stuff has a great grasp on sound design. Yes. Um, and while some of the sound effects can sound a little silly from time to time yeah at the very least they always sound appropriate to the universe that he creates um the use of like in this and as something i noticed i i actually watched a comparison of the uh because they show the very first scene of the uh, or okay not the very first scene but they show that scene where he gets sent back into the past in yeah. the very last episode of season five they showed a comparison and the art changed a bit, but was actually very much an upgrade, I'd say. I would um, agree. The color palettes, the design, everything was cleaner, um, better presented. I, it's a really beautiful season. Um, and, and the use of CGI in the whole season was sparingly, like, very sparing, but always appropriate. It, it accented and improved each scene. Yeah, you know what I'll say? Things that I liked? I like the fact that it was still silly. I was worried about yes. that from the previews that it would be yeah, too I was, dark and not feel like Samurai Jack. Yeah, I was worried it was going to be all grim dark. Yeah, and the, it was the perfect blend of grim dark and silly. The I love Scaramouche. Yeah. Yep. Scaramouche was great. Aku being ridiculous but still threatening was great. Actually, uh, uh, let me say this. Um, he's. Well, actually, we'll go over that later. Yeah, I know. Um, Scaramouche. Oh my god. I had no idea he was going to come back because I thought it was just a one and done deal and I would have been okay with that. Yeah. But the fact that Scaramouche comes back and in the manner that he does is perfect. He's such a good character and Tom Kenny has so much fun. And his his death was also pretty good too when that happened. <laughs> oh yeah. But master, <laughs> boom. 
Just not even a second yeah, thought, like, no, like, fuck you. He was wrong, now he's dead. Yep. The bit where he's, like, I had never even considered the person playing an instrument. It's just, well, I can solve my voice. Like, that's that was really <laughs> funny. <laughs> I did not expect that. Yeah, that was really, that, that's such that a good joke. Me. And that, I still, I think I will remember that for a long time. Oh, uh, Celtic magic. Uh-oh. You can't undo the magic that is me, babe. <laughs> um, not to mention, okay, so did anyone notice that they did not swear in the entire season except that one episode where, oh yeah, no, just like, you know, beats from hell. You look like a talking penis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the samurai. Yeah. That, that episode is really weird because it's like Gendy was like, okay, they're expecting swearing. One episode, go mm. balls to the wall, just give them everything they want. Um, also, yeah, um, I wasn't sure what to expect in, uh, in terms of violence, but I was very satisfied with the level of violence that was there. Nothing too much. Yeah, no, no, was most, the, the, oh, sorry. no sequence felt like it was like, this is only violent because they have this rating now. Like it. Like, even though there were definitely scenes that they could only do with that rating, there, like, there was a lot of, it felt earned. Like, yeah. it, it didn't feel like it was just, check this out, look what we can do now. Ugh. Yeah, and it was also really nice because I was watching um, the return of Jeez. the Scotsman um, in, the original, in the original, like, run uh, of Samurai Jack. And the scene is Jack is at a, a, a at a bar. Mm -hmm. He's having a drink, and then everyone notices, hey, that's Samurai Jack. So they gang up on him. They shoot at him with actual guns. Jack drinks some beer from the bar, mm -hmm. and then the Scotsman the Scotman ends up saving him and blows up the bar. And then on the way out, they're like, I saw you were having trouble with those robot bounty hunters. <laughs> After it explodes, because yeah. robot bounty hunters, even though none of them look like robots, <laughs> yeah. they all just look like people and fucking aliens. Whoa. I hit the screen and, and I'm dead. <laughs> I am a genius. He, a genius indeed. <laughs> so what we haven't talked about yet is the Ashi in the room. We, we'll, we'll yes. talk about, hold, on, hold on, Before we talk about Ashi, um, last thing I want to talk about uh, in terms of like the violence, the first actual moment where blood happens... <laughs> is so good because you don't see that coming. Yeah. Like, when, like, because when he, it's in a very quiet moment, too. Like, there's a fight going on, but there's no music, there's no sound effects, but the fight, and then just cut. And that moment is so good because five seasons of him <laughs> not killing a single actual person. person. Mm. You, know, you see it happen, and you see it happen to him. And it's so <laughs> good. Character. But speaking about the daughters of Aku, a fantastic addition to the season, Ashi. I I loved the idea of them. Then as soon as I pieced together, like, oh wait, one of them's gonna turn good and probably be buddies with Jack. I really initially like was very against that. Ditto. Like I was like, no, like Jack is a solo man. He works by himself. Do not like, do not give him a sidekick. I don't need that. But I feel like they did it well enough that it worked for me. Um, and in the end, I was really happy that she was there. They would not have worked as well if Jack hadn't fallen as far as he did. Yeah, like they needed a they needed a sidekick to pull him from the funk he was in. And yeah, the, I feel the, like it was important making him showing just how depressed he was and just and such a bad place that he was. The situation he was put in was so dismal, not able to die of old age, but just unwilling to die from you know. Unwilling to be killed. Yeah. And so you just have this character who can't get any rest. <laughs> um, and so, you know, after like after his last hope is removed and he's just been fighting for years. Yeah, no, he needs somebody. Yeah. Um, and I, I thought the Daughters of Aku were brilliantly crafted. The, the, the from their uh, in, well from their conception yes uh, until their inevitable deaths I um, I really thought the mother or whatever was gonna come back like I know she got like the arrow through her or whatever yeah but I was like there's no way that's the end like I was like she's gonna come back and that's gonna be a thing and yeah we'll talk we'll talk about her when we get to the actually when we get to the negatives because <laughs> um, I got I got opinions on that um, but yeah no the daughters of Aku fantastic setup. I love the fact that they're all abused children. 
Um, I like because it's such a dark plot line. Yeah. Something they obviously couldn't have gotten away with in the original. Um, but it fit. It was like, yeah, no, I can see this happening in the Samurai Jack universe. A bunch of children raised from birth, like, and you know, they could have, they could have done the concept, but they couldn't have shown you the brutal details. Yeah. They couldn't have sold you just how really, truly dark it was. Um, I do love how banal Aku's evil is. He just kind of shows up like, yeah, sure, I guess I'll do this. Yeah. yeah. He cares so little about any of this horrible stuff that they're doing in his name. Yeah. I think that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that that was, I, I really loved that it was like, Aku did not command them to do anything. Like, yeah. they're just like these crazy people who worship Aku and he just shows up for a second. He's like, oh yeah, oh, okay. Nice likeness, but it doesn't beat the real Aku. <laughs> Killed by all the elements. And heart, by the way, it's still here. Okay, that was cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That was neat. Um. But as far as other stuff, like I like art direction was cool, sound design, amazing, lots what of great the stuff. Hell? <laughs> what is the supersonic bullshit? <laughs> Monkey used the superpowers. But you were saying? Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other like huge positives that I really want to point out before we get less positive uh, on things. Season uh, uh, episode or at five. Or bring I think? things that will bring debate on whether it was positive or not. Yeah, episode five um, is a is a great was a great way to kind of like go back into the world and revisit all that stuff. Nope. I was happy with that. Nope. I liked that. Um, I will say. Uh, Probably could have skipped the raid kids. I don't know. Oh, oh they were so great though. Uh, when they, when Ashi's doing her traveling around the world thing, and they do the freaking song about him. I thought that was dope. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was awesome. See, I was like, I wasn't, I wasn't about that, but I'm glad somebody actually, like, I'm glad people actually got were entertained by that. Like, I'm, I, I'm not mad that you were. I'm actually happy because I wasn't. <laughs> I just thought, okay, song, sure. Um, yeah, I, I really like the episode of Ashi seeing everybody that Jack had helped. Yeah, me too. Like, you, I, high, I, high point of the season as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, like, I am, I am a total sucker for cheesy things like that, where it's just like, here's, yo, everyone you helped. The... Who, who died? All right. Yeah, I mean, potentially high, I would go so far as to say one of the high points of, of the, the series, series as a whole. Yeah. I'd be hard pressed to... To think of too many that I'd place above that moment, just because it was such a beautiful culmination yeah. of everything. Um, also, it was a hot debate between Ganshing Ba, the voice of Android 17, um, Rakum, Tenshin Han. Uh, people might know him for Avatar uh, Abridged. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a hot debate between him and I. Oh, let's do this. Mojo, Jojo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, about whether or not. He was going to commit seppuku, because we saw like we we saw that he'd gone off, and I'm like he, that like I was like the fucking horseman, mm -hmm. that is his will to live. That is that is death. That is suicide. Yep. That and I was, and the funny thing was, Gam was like, no, it's not gonna be seppuku. They wouldn't show that. They wouldn't I mean, that. I know we got TV 14, but that's too dark. And I was like, I was right, bitch. <laughs> I mean, I remember you asked me, like, who do you think the horseman is? And I'm like, what do you mean? I mean, besides the personification of seppuku and his <laughs> will to suicide? <laughs> yeah. I <was laughs> like, I thought you were trying to hint at some, because you'd seen more than I had at that point. Yeah. I'm like, what, is he like a returning character? Is he going to take off the mask? And <laughs> until that the, would be real dumb. Until they showed the Scotsman, part of me was like, is that the Scotsman in a suit? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if it had been the Scotsman, I would have been okay with this. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll have to talk about the Scotsman as well. Um, but, yeah, no, I I was super happy with that because... Oh, what? no. You got an assist trophy that's also part of your character, I guess. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, um... I don't know where to where to take the discussion. <laughs> Every time we bring up a topic, you're like, "Oh, we can talk about that when we talk about something else." Now, um, like, now I feel hamstring. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what what were we talking about? The Scotsman. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll talk about the Scotsman. Good old Scotty. Um, first of all, just the explanation of Celtic magic made me so happy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like he dies, and it's just 
How does he come back? Like, how do you have ghost? Celtic magic. And I'm like, yep, that's that's okay. I I liked just Karen and I were talking about how, you know, trying to think of any other Cartoon Network show, if it got this reboot, what the equivalent of just seeing the Scotsman being killed on screen is oh, like. Man. I'm like, that's as if like a Johnny Bravo episode happened and like, oh, geez. you know, Pops is there and just gets blown up and some <laughs> scenes just like, oh no, Pops, you're dead. <laughs> Who's piloting Mojo Jojo's robot? How do I use an ult? Uh, R2. Oh, okay. Oh, monkey! That's pretty cool. No, it was Mojo Jojo. Um. Also, I'm speaking as someone who did not watch a whole lot of the original Samurai Jack. Like, I kind of came in at this reboot. I watched a, I watched like the first episode and a couple episodes like with no context. Uh, ah. And that's most of what I had seen. Um, a character. Speaking of the Scotsman, um, he, uh, yeah. Oh, well actually, okay, we'll go back again into the second end. All right, so any, any other positives that people want to go over? Things that they really loved about the season? I'm I mean, sure more stuff will come up, yeah. incidentally, but let's... All right, let's talk about the things about Season 5 that didn't gel well with us. Um, so, as, as I said, the first five episodes, I have no problems with. Mm -hmm. um, I loved the direction it was going in. Uh, I, I positively loved it. Um, the, the second half of the show kind of loses me. Like, it never lost me, but it did kind of Johnny flounder Bravo. a little bit. Because you have these, you have this overarching plot of he has to defeat Aku. Right. Aku is the main threat, but he's a non-character for almost the entire season, and then finally comes in like as a full-on issue in the last two episodes. Like, do you think you just didn't have enough time? Yeah. Um, and I think that's going to be a recurring thing in this discussion of they didn't have enough time. You know, I I try real hard not to hold against Greg Baldwin that he's not Mako, but he's just not Mako. He is not Mako, which is not to say that his performance was bad, but there was something that was missing, was, and it was obvious. Yeah, and I almost wonder if the, some of Aku's lack of presence doesn't come down to every moment that he's on screen, you are reminded, by the way, R.I.P. Mako. Yeah. Uh, Mako, uh, by the way, the original voice of Aku. Uh, rest in peace. Yep. Yeah. Also, Uncle Iroh and Avatar, Splinter and various Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, remakes and spinoffs and such, and overall awesome voice actor that is dearly missed. Yeah. Um, uh, as well, these. Uh, speaking of non-characters, the Scotsman is you know introduced. And then immediately forgotten about for the second half of the season until the final episode. Yeah, didn't he like make like a magic sword or something? And oh, well, he's talking about amassing an army, finding Jack. He he doesn't do any of that. <laughs> he amasses the army only after Jack's been captured. I can't say I had a problem with that, because uh, like at the end of the day, it's Jack's story. Yeah, and. I don't know. It might have been interesting to give, you know, the the B plot of an episode to the Scotsman doing his thing, but I didn't feel it was necessary. Well, but but here's the thing. I'd have been okay with it if it had been better set up, but it, it feels like he de they didn't even try to build the army or find Jack at all. So why say it? Like it, they could have shown up at the end. Like, yeah, by the way, we have this army. We've been, like we've been looking for you, but it doesn't even feel like that's what happened. It feels like the broadcast happened, and they were like, "Oh shit, that's happening." All right, let's go. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that was kind of the as as much fun as the Scotsman is. That was kind of the problem with his appearance is that it felt obligatory. It felt like, well, we got to have the Scotsman in there. Here's here's people, a big battle scene for the Scotsman. People want the Scotsman here, but there it is. didn't affect anything really. It was it was fun, but it was toothless. Is that the word I'm looking for? Maybe. But yeah, I, no, I, I see what you're saying. Inconsequential. Oh my God. Get out, Johnny Bravo. Oh God. 
Um, um, you know, going back to something I liked for a second. Um, Ashi and Jack falling for each other. I thought that was incredibly well done. Yes. I liked that it was a very clearly a physical attraction. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I did not feel like that was family-friendly bullshit. Um, like, I, I agree. Yeah. Guess what? You, you put a sexy man and a sexy woman together, you know what they're going to want to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is interesting because for the longest time, uh, Jack was kind of sexless. Yep. Um, and we know why. But having him actually, like, find her attractive in, in, in many different manners, you know, I don't know, it, it, it was satisfying, they actually took the time to make it work, um, which is actually both good and bad because as, as they were getting close to the end of the season, they took an entire episode to build that relationship with the slug monster, but at the same time it's like, oh, but we have, so, we have like this looming threat and so little time to deal with it. We need to do something with it. Um, and so we have this entire episode dedicated to like a slug monster. Although we, oh, we also had the tiger dudes with the letters on their chest, yeah. and let me tell you, they that that felt like a Samurai Jack episode in the best way. So at the very least, while I was like, oh, I don't want the fact that they spent all this, like I felt like they wasted time. At least they did it on an episode that was Jeez. really good. See, that's that's the thing about Samurai Jack, though. I don't feel like anything is ever wasting time because they put so much care into every little silly thing that they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it was to the service of building up their relationship. So at the very least, that meant something. Um, so. Oh, man. So finale. What were, what were your problems with Oh, boy. With it? Okay. So first of all. Because so, um, before I start getting all defensive and defending it, <laughs> I, I need to know. It's okay. Before you start getting being wrong. Okay. So first of all. Um. Let's talk about like just something that was jarringly like, the like the timing was bad on this. Um, they open up on a brilliant idea, the opening yeah. of the original show. That was so good. I was so like the moment that was happening, I was like, "You guys know what you're doing," and I was happy with that because the episode previous making her like an actual agent of Aku mm -hmm. was a brilliant idea. I was like, "Oh yeah, good." You know, actually build her up as a love interest and then utilize her at the end as, no, nope, she's still a daughter of Aku. Yeah. Literally. So, yeah, like, that was a great conflict for them both. Mm -hmm. Um, And then leading into the next episode, I was like, cool, awesome. Wait, everyone is at their house watching this? What happened to that army that, the, <laughs> that you know, the Scotsman said that he was building? And then uh, clearly he was fucking his wife more. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> that's, that's making how more. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I get more now. daughters. Um, so. Oh God. Oh jeez, that's not cool. Um, so. But yeah, everyone's at their house watching this happen, which is which was cool. But then when it came to the moment that okay, it's time to go save Jack. Everyone's there and ready. Yep. <laughs> but how? There's just so many logistical problems with that. Yeah, no, wait, are you seriously trying to tell me you wanted logistics in <laughs> Samurai Jack? That's what was missing for you. More logistics. Like, look, I'm not saying, like, I needed to see them all get ready or something, but just the fact that how did they cover that, like, that Celtic amount of magic. distance? Uh, <laughs> okay, if they appeared out of a Celtic portal... I'd have actually been better they, off with that. They appeared on reindeer riding the ghost Scotsman's <laughs> ghostly ghost trail. Celtic magic, dude. Yeah. Um, also, for the rave kids, uh, they had giant doves. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they did. Yeah. At, at, and it was dope. <laughs> yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Them all going to save Jack. I liked that part. Don't get me wrong. Like, let's not, let's not twist words on that one. Like, I'm... I'm sure that when the public gets hungry enough for more Samurai Jack, you will get some dumb comic book with a bunch of side stories. I don't want that. That tells you, it, no, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's what you're getting. Yeah. No, because those stories are not the stories we're here to tell. Um. They're not the stories that I find interesting. They're, they're not what they should have been spending screen time on, and I'm glad they didn't. Well, here, yeah, but yeah, again... I didn't want them spending screen time on the actual collection of people. Like, you're getting me wrong if you think that's what I wanted. 
I wanted I wanted them ready and and, and 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 ready for that fight the moment that shit went down. Like obviously ready. Like collected. But they were all still separate. So How would they know that Samurai Jack was captured? <laughs> Remember? He said that he was uh, building an army. Where where's the army? There is no army until riding yeah. reindeers. Yes, on there his is. Pack. Yes. Uh, you, uh, do you not understand what building an army is? <laughs> Collecting people together. F fucking your Which wife. Which he yes. did. No, <laughs> did you not did see it. all the people that came in in the finale? Did you yes. watch the same thing? <laughs> yes, I did. But it was after Jack had already been captured. Because how are they supposed to know? Yeah, he. What uh, what I think Kaiser is upset about is that we have the TV broadcast and we see everyone watching it in different places. Yes, they're in different places. And then, Implied within an together. hour of that, everyone is now all together. Yeah. They, he didn't collect an army until the last second. He said he was going to go do it and then find Jack. I mean, yeah, that is what okay. happened, but not in a not in the way that he was implying. I think that they, they decided to opt for a great narrative, like, storytelling device over making actual sense. And that's okay, but don't make the line. Don't give <laughs> us expectations of that character. That's all. How else were they going to get rid of the Scotsman for a couple of episodes while they focused on other stuff? <laughs> oh, come on. Now, I, 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 that, that's what not, if that's, instead of Aku vaporizing the Scotsman in like an instant, it was just the Scotsman refusing to die in an eternal battle with Aku <laughs> until Jack got there? Oh, that would have been so yeah. Okay, that would have okay, been pretty that funny. Been great. I would have I would have dug that, and that would have been such just a like long Just like this completely crippled, battered man, just like, no! <laughs> Um, but yeah, no. Like, by and large... Okay, but that's... that's Oh, God, that's only one of the problems. And I can forgo that. Like, that was just a logistical, like, okay, that's awkward, but whatever. You know what? That's not... You're right. That isn't what the story's about. Um, let's talk about the thing that actually, like, chews my leather. That's the phrase. Yep. Um, okay, so... Oh, sh Fuck you. Um... The... Okay. So, how does this work? Okay, this is what's happening? Are we doing this? What? Nope, what yep. am I doing? Nope, I'm, I'm over here. Okay. okay. Got him. That didn't do shit. Okay, nope. so, all right, whatever. Super moves are bullshit. Yep, they seem that way. Uh, oh god, there's acid. Um, man, that finale's rushed. Like, uh, while the actual battle against Aku, like the 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 siege, is great, mm -hmm. um, and I love all of that, the moment uh, they find out that Ashi can use Aku's powers, I was like, oh, okay, that's that's kind of cool. And then they instantly do the portal. And I'm like, oh, yeah, why I, wouldn't you? I was no, gonna no, say, I, why I, would you belabor that moment? Because I, I still oh, like that. oh, what was that about narrative? <laughs> what was that about entertaining narrative? <laughs> And not always being the most logical thing, but trying to tell a good story. Uh, uh, so a good story is them <laughs> sitting there is for this, twenty is minutes, them going, and I have, about <laughs> Do I have the right to do the thing that I should do that I'm going to do anyway? First of all, <laughs> her being able to use his powers doesn't mean she shouldn't have tried to do it. But if you're going to say that she can do it and have the powers, introduce a reason, have a conflict that makes it so she can't instantly do it, and then remove all why? the dramatic tension. Yeah, why? <laughs> why? Why add more time? Yeah, that that sounds like filler. That sounds like something you do when you've got no more manga to adapt. The climb you need to add okay, another it, two episodes. You want to talk about narrative structure? The reason the finale works the way it does is because you are introducing a problem, and then the problem has already reached its third act. We have seen. Jack just overcame the, the turning point, the big thing of get Ashi, because that's what they've been building up for the second half of the show is Ashi. Now her character point has turned. The only thing left for a climax is what the show of the, the title is, Back to the Past. So now that she has turned, the only resounding thing left is Back to the Past. So that's instantly, within the 20 minutes we have, that's the next story beat that has to happen. Is it wrong that I wanted a little bit of fanfare after five seasons? <laughs> yes. Yes. That was efficient. That was great. Restrained storytelling, and I loved it. Because what? Because then, if you get, if you have her, gets the she gets the powers, blah blah blah, something in the future that now negates the entire tension of going back to the past. Because then you had a you had a denouement in the future that removes it from the past, and the past is the key point. Like the 
the point you brought up that I can absolutely understand and actually like on retrospect I do think you're you're kind of right with is that it is super cheesy and cliche Jack yelling I love you is what oh, breaks oh, the spell oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like we've talked about this like, before like that's pretty contrived and lame yeah, like I all things I considered I I'll give you that I will not have an argument that that was good at all like the I love you to save her he might as well have just cried over her dead body to <laughs> bring her back, her back to life, life at the end <laughs> the, the only thing I will say is that that's that was rote, but I found it inoffensive. It didn't yeah. bother me. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't bug me, and like yeah. that's why I said in retrospect, I look back and go yeah. like, that is pretty cheesy. But as it happened, I wasn't like, boo. Yeah. Like it was just like, oh, okay. Like and just. I, here's the thing, um, turning her like making her an agent of Aku and removing her uh, autonomy was such a big thing that I'm like, oh, please let the actual like resolve like let them resolve this in a meaningful manner and something that's more. You know, that, that's better told than that. Yeah. Yeah, like, that is something that had they had more time to dedicate to it, I would have considered time well spent. Yeah. Um, so the whole I love you thing, eh. Um, then, um, I, I am happy he didn't get a full happy ending. Because, like, her fading away... Like, like, the fact that they just wrap it up like, go back to the past, kill Aku, done. And I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, that was five seasons and boom, <laughs> done. The fact that, oh, but also this, I was like, okay, good. It isn't just, we're done. Um, there was actual pain, in, like, there was loss in that victory. Yeah. Um, but it also ends on something hopeful and beautiful, which is important. Yes. Like, I feel like if we didn't have that last moment, then it would have been too dark. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. like, um, yeah, I, I'm really happy with that last shot. And that last shot, that yeah. last shot almost negates all of my problems. The, and, well, and what's, what's great about it is, like, and I didn't even think about this until later, is, like, the ladybug is, like, symbolizes what Ashi saw as beautiful. Like, that was the yeah. first living thing she encountered and understood, like... And so how poetic it is that that's the closing thing that we see. Like, they they put so much thought into this from the outset. Like, because it's like, I think episode five or six, where that, that's her turning point mm -hmm. for a lot of this shit. And then the, the parallelism right there of now you got to appreciate life. Hey, I know you're you're not in the future anymore, but the life you wanted to save, it's here. You did it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think that's really good. Um, and that, that being said... Actually, funny enough, I really hated how they did the um, the whole thing with the ladybug at first. Because it's just like, there's a ladybug, oh, and time for a flashback showing that she saw a ladybug. And I'm like, that's not great storytelling. But I am glad that they brought that back at the very least. Because, yeah, I, I agree. That was a good visual metaphor, and it worked. That's all fine. Now, here's why it's a bad ending. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you knew this was coming. Yes, I was waiting for this. So, the season opens... Jack is at his lowest point. Mm -hmm. He's angry, he's frustrated, he's full of despair, because as far as he's concerned, he has failed in his mission. And when he gets to his absolute lowest point, the nadir, he is ready to commit seppuku because he has failed. He cannot get back to the past. That is juxtaposed with Ashi wandering the earth, seeing all the lives that Jack touched. Yep. That every day of his journey was a victory. All these people who are free and happy and fighting against Aku because of what Jack did, but fuck you, none of them were ever born. That is we a, don't know that none of them were ever born. That is a terrible ending. Because you know what the good ending would have been? He defeats Aku in the future, all the time portals are gone, rebuild. There's no magic reset button. The losses you suffer in life are permanent. You have to live with them every day, but it's still worth going on. That is meaningful. That is what I was convinced they were building towards. And having that taken away with a magic Aku portal just robs that of so much meaning. Which is why what I was hoping for, and we've talked about this, and I don't like to get too far into, well, I would have done it this My way. My because that's bullshit. Telling. But... And I think they were kind of trying to go with this, I, you know, and we talked about this. I think it was implied Father. that he kills all of those people mm -hmm. when he uses that oh, spike attack. Aku does. We at least see the dog bite it, which is like, yeah. Yeah. no. <laughs> Not the doggy. dog bites it. 
the um the Scotsman already bit it, but what is he immortal now? I don't know. <laughs> we definitely uh, see a couple of those big guys who could jump bite it. Yeah, the robots <laughs> bit it. Yeah, like we saw a lot of those guys die. Three, I think two, it was implied that one, like five. they all die in that moment, except for maybe uh the Scotsman's daughters. Which, if they had focused on, oh, all of these guys are now dead in this battle that had to happen, this was gonna happen regardless, then I'd be like, no, go back to the past. Nope, they're all dead. They all died for this. No, you have to now. And I still wouldn't because... Because that negates their sacrifice if they were never born. They, they, they chose that. But here's the thing. So... What if what if they all died so he could go make sure that Aku could never have this future? Like their sacrifice had merit because it's what let him do it. Yeah. They sacrificed themselves so he could defeat Aku and and Aku's terrible, terrible timeline. Which let's let's be frank, was super bad. A lot of people, innocent people, got murdered. Yep, it's, that it's way better that those people just never existed in the first place. That's, <laughs> See, I, you're, th their, their life was meaningless. You're no, so... It has no value, so let's just erase it. No, it's not <laughs> it at all, because you're, you're uh, because what's happening is the people that are being introduced here in this time have all agreed that their life sucks. Yeah, that no, everything there is, something is worse, shit. There is something that, worse oh, yeah, than cause, death. Because that whole world sucked so bad <laughs> when she was traveling the world, visiting all of these beautiful places seeing these monuments to this man's <laughs> life that he lived yeah no that's all garbage get rid no, of it okay <laughs> monuments made to a man who was the last refuge in a world that was shit and it was a shit world yeah, and and he made it better every day and yet, that has value that has merit yeah but there were still like that's what the other four seasons are for ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez you're killing it on this, Kaiser. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I am. I, 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 yeah. um, but no, like, I, I can say this. I agree with you um, that, yeah, going back and undoing everything felt really cheap, especially with, yeah, we followed that for several, several seasons. It is a painful thing to do. But you have to measure whether or not that sacrifice was worth it. And there is an argument to make that undoing all of that pain is worth even undoing all of that good. And and see and that's the problem is that it turns into a time travel paradox question. Oh yeah, that too. Did did those people ever get? Will they be born? Will their lives be different? And so we're sitting here debating the mechanics of time travel instead of dealing with the th the themes that they were dealing with all season long. What about because in real life you can't go back and do a magic reset, so it doesn't matter if you have to measure the thing against the other thing. Oh. You just have to live with the consequences of what's happened, and sometimes that sucks. But it's still worth living every day, and that's beautiful. In real life, there isn't an evil creature named Aku <laughs> that came from the pit of hate yes. and then turned the world into a living hell. Yes, there is. He's in the White House. <laughs> oh, oh, God, but, um, <laughs> we brought it back around. But, uh, okay, quick question then. W would the ending have felt way more satisfying if, before Jack and Ashi go back, they have that moment of, like, if we go back, none of you exist. Oh, actually, like, I... If that's something I wanted. In fact, I wanted her to not even make it back to the past. Like, like if, like before he goes, he has that that emotional, you know, moral quandary of me going back undoes like not only Aku's evil, but all of you, you, your friends, your family. There's a very real chance that you know, butterfly flaps its wings, etc. None of this happens. Like, well, but we still, and they, and like, you know, there's a rallying, like, you still have to do what you got to do. And, well, and, and, you know, they could have really accented that as he looks out over all the dead bodies of his friends and goes, <laughs> yeah, no, all right, we're doing and, this. You know, that's still an abstraction, though, because it's not relatable. At no point in my life will I ever have to decide. Do you get the big reset decide, button? Yeah, yeah. Should I never have existed or should I just One. die uh, now? Ben, Actually, you, can, you can get up and move away and, <laughs> and make... You know, not necessarily undo everything that exists, but, you know, you can go somewhere, start over, get a fresh start, clean slate. Might I also <laughs> note that he made a huge sacrifice of his own as well. I mean, yeah, sure, he went back to the past and took care of Aku, but, yeah, he had to make that sacrifice of all the people that I know and grew up with and, and loved are going to be gone because of this. But I'm doing this so the world's a better place. Yes! <laughs> yes! Empirically, yes! There's no Aku. It's okay. much better. Wait, so this if is... all those people don't exist, that's 
Yes. Yeah, and see, that's the problem. That's the problem right there, is that that's not a relatable quandary to have. That is not a question that any of us will ever have to answer. So who fucking cares? Do you... Who cares how time travel works? It doesn't exist. <laughs> Do you not like science fiction or fantasy or anything like entertaining <laughs> possibility? I, I, I've, I've, I've got I've to side with him. You're, you're talking about fantasy and sci-fi. Yeah, things are just... And also, yeah, uh, no, if no, you no, want no, it to no, be no, relatable, no. I will. Just let me chime in real quick. Okay. Uh, okay. So here's here's something that the entire the theme of the show is about. Buddhism, okay? The show is about Buddhism. It is all throughout the fucking show. And when he gets the sword back, it's because of meditation. You can argue about how you want about the time, mm -hmm. how long it took. You can say it took an extra episode. It didn't. There was like no little payoff, whatever. But time doesn't matter in Buddhism. Okay. So with with the accentuation of the Buddhist points is that you essentially death is not. You do not die. You do not cease to exist because you are essentially going to sleep and never waking up. Imagine waking up from some of, you know, from, okay, what happens if you wake up from never having slept? That's called being born. So with the idea that people just suddenly don't exist, that's called, that, that's just death. That is the idea of dying with Samurai Jack. And when it comes to the idea that all of these people had all this suffering and shit to go with it, the idea of embracing that suffering and using it to turn it into some other force that can be used to the betterment of everyone instead of the evil of Aku that is enforced by materialism and getting stuck in this world. Samurai Jack is about realizing that this world is transient and that that's why it sucked because he, he did not age. He is stuck in a body that will be his own and he can't get out of it. And that's the idea. That's a, a hell for Buddhism. You want to get out of your fucking body. So when he goes back in time, he essentially has that Buddhist release of being able to live a life as something that can be then enforced by all the other cosmic forces that you don't get in the future because it's all materialism. That's really philosophical and out there, but that's the <laughs> really broad theme of the fucking show. Don't apologize for that. <laughs> that. That is the kind of shit that we need. And that's, I don't know. So, there you go. <laughs> well... You're wrong, fuck the world, but <laughs> it's, also, uh, <laughs> it's also about half past, and I oh, think geez. we've talked this through. Oh, about, uh, <laughs> yeah, bit about of, as much as we're bit going to. Bit of Samurai to. Jack bonus Yeah, content. that was our Samurai, yeah. Sammy Jack, spoiler cast. Thank you for everybody <laughs> who tuned in. Thanks for, let's see if we got any more bit drops to call out. Aaron Carr, Orangutan Punch, thank you so much. Thanks to everybody who supports us. Yes, thank you very much. We'll see you. Without you, we can't have these dumb arguments on the internet for everyone to hear. <laughs> yep. We'd have to have them in our homes among ourselves like yeah. losers. And that's Which we do. <laughs> we totally do. We'll see you, what, uh, Tuesday for the drinking stream. We're going to play some more of The Surge. Yeah. Uh, tune in Wednesday if you feel like watching memes from memesters doing their meme thing. Doing their meme thing. Thursday, you guys are going to play some Kingdom Hearts 0.2? E uh, yes. Okay. And congrats to Kaiser Neko for not losing a single round of... Cartoon oh, time Real quick before one. we uh, drop out, probate with 8,800. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Uh, it says, how about that Broly God? <laughs> how about that Broly God? How about that? How about that Broly God? Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> yep, canonical word on Broly God from Scott. Fuck <laughs> you. In universe. <laughs> out. It's the truth. Thanks, everybody, Thanks for, for watching. Support. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys on uh, probably not Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday, because yeah. yeah. you never see us on Monday, actually, yeah. so we'll see you as normal on yeah. Tuesday. But yeah. less less than usual, because we're in fair this Monday. God, that's a terrifying oh, image God. to go out on. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, 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 no! <laughs> oh, it, it doesn't get better than that. Kicking you out to the fan art. See you guys! <laughs>